Hello. <laughs> Howdy. Hello. Where's my controller? Okay, there we go. Hello. Dark Cloud. Uh, game. Play. Do. Beat? Probably not. <laughs> Maybe, though? We'll see. We're in the, I believe it's the last, like, world? Kind of. Hello, Noodle. Um, the last, like, major world, right? <laughs> it's like, after this, it should just be the, like, boss's castle or whatever at the end of the game. So this should pretty much be the end. <laughs> Kind of. I don't know, man. I don't know how long it's going to take to get through this area we're in or anything. I don't know how big the the actual like last world is. Um, so I don't know. There might be there might be a bit left. But with any luck, we'll be like done or close to done today. Uh, we have stuff to sell, apparently. So we need to find a shop. And it looks like we also need some repair powder. We have a couple, but just a couple. Auto repair powder. Do we need revival powder on the bar? I don't remember. I hope not. Let's just not die. Then we don't have to worry about it, right? That's how that works. As long as we don't die, then we don't need revival powder. Fuck it. Where's the closest shop at? Do we have... Oh my god, I don't remember, like, anything. Do we have stuff that we need to put down? We do. We do have stuff we need to put down. Okay, so let's do that first, I guess, because why not? Go in here, we'll put our stuff down, then we'll try and find a shop. And then once we find a shop, then we can do... Stuff. I guess. Like... explored the dungeon <laughs> you know the things we can do the things um okay so we have like is this like a puzzle do things need laid out in a very particular order here it kind of looks like they do doesn't it because like it looks like it's all pieces of things so i feel like i'm probably messing it up but because, like, that definitely looks like it's meant to go on something. But, I I don't know, whatever. Okay, so we have you. We have part AMR here. If we put it, like... <laughs> no. <laughs> See, like, but it does butt right up against it. Which, again, makes me feel like it's meant to be laid out into something. It's probably meant to be laid out into something, but it's fine. Who cares? It doesn't need to be good or right or anything like that, right? It can just be whatever random <laughs> junk we have. Can't see anything without this? Is it, like, eyes? I'm guessing we don't have it, whatever the heck it is. Doesn't look like we have it, but we have this. We have an elephant emblem, and we do have a tusk, and we do have a hand... And then this dude, we have one of these dudes. And we even have one of these dudes. Let's freaking go, man. We finished something. Something else, because I guess we already finished that. And then this one, all we need is a tusk. That's another thing complete. Let's go. What do you need? You need a person. Well, we don't have that yet, but we do have the vase thingy. Hard dome-shaped object. That sounds like a turtle shell. And a spine of a shell and this looks like a fang bruh we're just finishing up all kinds of crap we have the ladders for the lookout nice i mean there's still a lot more stuff it's weird though because like it's, just, it's so much different you know than any of the things we've done before yeah this is like definitely meant to be laid out into a robot or something Right? Like, it has to be. So if that's like a head, what is this? AML? Because this looks like front right? Maybe? No. Foot, foot right? Arm right, maybe. Right? Head? HD? 
HGR2. Hugger2? Arm left. HGR. Head. Groin? I don't know what these things mean. And then, like, the lookout would need to go somewhere. So I don't know, man. I have no idea what any of this is. Eventually, maybe we'll lay it out in some way that actually matters. That does something. Potentially. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it even matters if we do, though. So far, like, in the game, it hasn't really mattered how we laid things out. We could just lay things out however we want, and people were, as far as I can tell, perfectly fine with it. So maybe it'll be the same here. Maybe we just need to get, like, all of the pieces of this weird robot thing down. And then once they're all down, then we can do whatever the fuck we want. Or, like, it'll do whatever the hell it wants to do, just automatically. It'll figure it out. That's my, that's my guess. That's what I'm gonna go with, at least. anti -goo amulet. Is this the shop? I don't remember where the shop is. At all. I don't think this is the shop. Another fruit of Eden? Salsa? No way to climb. Oh, wait, no. I'm trying to talk to Salsa. Not from around here. No. No, I'm not. You're right. You're right on that. I ain't from around here. I'm not from around here at all. I'm from, like, Earth, I guess, or the equivalent of Earth. Whatever that would be. Not you. Is that the shop over there? One of these has to be the freaking shop, man. We did get some fish candy, though. We can give that to Zhao. There you go. Give her a little bit more defense. I don't think we need any of the other stuff. I think it does anything for us. I don't think this is the shop either. Because didn't the shop have, like, somebody standing outside of it? I think. Is it you? Mm. No. The antifreeze amulet? Oh. oh, no. That was probably just the, the thingy. The ladder. Sucks that, like, there's all these ladders laying around. Because it gives us a little exclamation mark. It makes me think there's something to click. And the game loves to hide chests just out of view of the camera all the time. So, like, it'd be... I don't know, man. I have a habit of just, like, running around just mashing X everywhere to see if we find a chest. And it makes it much harder to do whenever we get stupid no way to climb up messages constantly. Why not just, like, have the ladders but have them not be interactable? Because if you can't interact with them in any way anyways, then what's the point of having them there? But yeah, see, like, right there. Right off camera. I guess you can kind of see... Is that even it? Like, there is no camera control here, right? <laughs> like, but I think that's it just off... No, I guess that's just one of these bars. So yeah, literally, like, completely off camera, dude. Game likes to, to hide things from us. They a dick. Uh, sell all of... The fish bait and stuff. Hydrate! Also, hello. Hydrate. Get a drink. Let me attack just redeemed hydrate. Thirsty. I'm a thirsty dude. Move items. Oh, no, that's not. <laughs> ha! I'm trying to see. Bravery launch. Standing on makes you brave and want to jump. So, that. I think that's the item that lets us go to, like, the back rooms of this area, which. Sorry, I don't really plan on doing it right now, so, like, I'm just gonna sell it. It's fine. We'll keep the gourd. We'll keep the fruit of Eden. We'll keep the Dran feathers. I'm gonna keep one, just in case. And then... Did we buy these weapons yet? For the next person that we're gonna get? We bought the snail. Or we got the snail unlocked. I guess, okay, we should wait to buy the jackal until we actually, like, have the person, I guess. It's kind of dumb to buy it ahead of time, right? So we just need a bunch of repair powder, then. That's auto repair powder. That was an expensive mistake. That's fine. Do we need anything else? I don't think so. We have a couple revival powders. We have a couple escape powders. More than we need, honestly. We have at least eight food. We should have some water up here, too. Yeah. We have a couple waters. I guess getting a couple more wouldn't be... 
wouldn't be a bad idea. Sure, let's buy like... Oh, look at that! Twitch went down! Every freaking time! <laughs> like, I swear, it just freaking hates me. I need to just remember to change my server. That's what I need to do. I just need to change my server to something else. And then hopefully not have to worry about it happening ever again. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I do have, like, a tool that'll let me check all the servers to see which one's working best for me at that moment and whatnot, but then I have to, like, get on ahead of time, and I have to see, like, sit there and wait and see what happens, see which one's the best and all that, and, like, that just takes time and effort, and, uh, <laughs> I just, I don't want to do it, man, every time before I share, I don't want to waste a bunch of time doing that, it annoys me. But this one's been giving me nothing but problems. So I really should at least, like, just change the server to a different one at least. Although it's, like, staying down this time. We're on attempt five to reconnect right now. So maybe, like, it just died, died. Did my internet die? I don't... Probably not. My internet usually isn't the one to blame. It's happened before, but it's rare. Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc for sale. Uh, sorry, I was just <laughs> got distracted a little bit. <gasps> Mary Kate and Ashley Sweet 16! Bro, I've been waiting for that game. Uh, <laughs> anyways, did it reconnect? Hey, it reconnected. Okay, so probably not my internet then. Unless, like, maybe my internet provider just hates me and they see, like, oh, you're trying to do something on the internet right now. Nah, we gonna, we gonna fuck your shit up. And then they just do that every time I do anything on the internet, but then they feel bad after a few minutes. So they just let me do stuff on the internet again without problem. Maybe that's what's going on. It's just weird because it happens so consistently. <laughs> if it didn't happen like every freaking stream, I wouldn't think it was that weird any either. Uh, I wouldn't even think it was that weird, but it's every stream, man. It's weird. Kappa Cow, what's up, my guy? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, more Dark Cloud. I'm really hoping to be able to, you know, finish it one of these days. Um, I would love to finish it today. I would also love if the camera would turn so I could see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, no, I would love to actually finish it today, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen. What I honestly think is gonna happen... It's a really loud car. Um, I think we're gonna get close to finishing it today, but then next week have to like actually finish it up and start the new game. If we don't finish it today, we're probably gonna still roll for whatever the next game's gonna be, just so that like I can get whatever game it is prepared, ready, just in case we do finish it next week. Seems to only happen at the beginning of the stream. That's very true. It does seem to only happen at the beginning, but it's like every stream, and that's why it's so freaking weird to me, right? Because, like, there's got to be some sort of reason for it. It's either... Ooh. Oh, we got, like, a mid-dungeon boss. Oh, is this our new character, actually? Because that looks like a moon dude. Um... But yeah, there's got to be, like, some sort of reason why it's, like, five to ten minutes at the beginning of every stream, it just freaking dies. <laughs> and then, after a, a minute or two, it picks back up and generally doesn't give us too many problems after that. Huh? What's happened? Uh, I think you passed the hell out, rabbit bro. During the test flight, the body fell apart. Darn, I wonder what went wrong. In theory, it was supposed to be perfect. And I thought I saw a part turn into a weird ball. Maybe it's just my imagination? Wait, have you been passed out since the Dark Genie, like, took over the world? Or the moon, in this case? Aren't we on the moon? So the Dark Genie, like, I just put that together. The Dark Genie, like, fucked up the moon, too? He didn't stop at Earth? Weird. Can he actually fly? Does that mean we get to fly? freaking flies off <laughs> that's that's the correct face my guy just like <laughs> confused shock no idea what the hell is going on because i'm feeling the same way right now sorry i'm just like moving stuff seems like from blue terra yes no that would be me blue terra that's where i'm from 
is this the guy we were looking for that like is gonna run the the giant whatever we're building genie oh that i saw it with the big telescope that's not much evil the blue terra folks need help if they are troubled by so little evil wait <laughs> What? Seal it? You must be kidding. Sealing? That is, like, extinct. Yikes. No one in Yellow Drop knows how to seal, probably. Isn't that when you put something into an urn or something, right? That is impossible. So wait, why don't... Is he gonna suggest we just kill it? <laughs> kill the freaking genie? Wait up, I haven't said no yet. I just said the sealing technique was difficult. There's a cooler way than sealing. Just knock it down! Yeah, he totally wants to just murder this dude. That's his plan. Which, I mean, I'm all for. Let's just do that instead, man. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Count on me. This has got to be our new our new friend, right? If not, I'd be very surprised. Here's the plan. I'm in the process of making a so-called sun giant. Is the state-of-the-art yellow drop technology. Let's say it's like a super-sized golem, to make a long story short. Sun Giant could easily knock out Genie, but then this very Sun Giant ran away and broke into pieces during the test drive. The magical gem we have now is not powerful enough to support the Sun Giant. We need a Pez Sphere. Pez Sphere is one of the most powerful of the magical gems. If we use that, then the Sun Giant will operate at its best. It has been put up as a prize for a match at the Coliseum. If you could win the match, you can acquire it. Easy to say, but winning a contest, it takes hard work. That means let's join forces! Osmond, okay. Moon Inventor. Moon Inventor Osmond, who uses guns and is a little, let's say, eccentric. I'm excited to give him a try, though. New people are cool. Um, Have we actually looked at his weapon? Like, the one, the extra one that we got? So he starts with a machine gun, which, attack 22, not bad. Snail has an attack of 34, also not bad. So yeah, no, he ain't, he ain't bad. Um, actually, they'll go back to him. I'm curious. God, it takes so long. Okay, equip that. And then... What are your stats like? Your other stats. Five of everything and zero. Okay. That's fine. I do want to move it, though. Because since we bought a weapon for him before we actually got him... His default, like, unbreakable weapon was after the one, the extra one that we got, which is just no, no good. Did it teleport us back to the shop whenever we... <laughs> well, damn, now I kind of wish we would have just did that to begin with. Oh, wait. So if that's... If he's our ally, then... Then he's not the dude we need to put in there, right? He doesn't count as a Giorama part? No. I thought he would have. Didn't it say something along the lines of like an eccentric hooded inventor or something weird? Little eccentric wears goggles, yeah. He was wearing goggles, right? Maybe we just don't get the chance to add him to the Sun Giant? Until we fully build the Sun Giant. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. Maybe it is? No, no, no. It looks like a cave or something. It must be this one. So we went like the exact opposite direction of where we should have went. Wait. Did we just go in a big ass circle? Are you... I don't know, man. Is this where we're supposed to be going? We could just teleport there, I guess. I didn't think about that. Yeah, okay. This is the right one. We good. We got this. Shoot me, daddy. Let's go. Is that the entirety of floor eight? If so, that's a quick freaking floor. I thought it was going to be like a mid-dungeon boss or something. Something we actually had to do, not just go in leave instantly no hold on i guess we got to go back to eight well that sucks maybe there is something we have to do here thirst reach its limit it's beginning to deteriorate that's fine we'll just swap to new guy 
Oh, he does fly constantly. That noise is going to be a bit much, though, isn't it? What's this say? Seems Osman can fly. Oh, okay. Wait, can he fly off the map in general? No. Lame. Fire the can. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to do it instead of climbing into it. To the next floor. Let's go. I feel like it should just auto completed the floor for us if that's all it's gonna do. I guess it gives us an introduction to like, hey, dummy, you're gonna have to use Osmond in this way. Oh, um, actually, shoot, I forgot. Osmond. Here, you can have. I don't have most of the stuff on me for you. Oh wait, you're already at a hundred health. Hmm. So now I'm not sure, do I want to give all the Fruits of Eden I have to other people? To the to the melee characters? I think we just need to wait and see how many Fruits of Eden we have. Because right now everybody is at, all melee is at 150, all ranged are at 100. So like the numbers are just already kind of perfect the way they are. I like it. Wait, no effect? Oh, probably because it's shooting fire, right? So if I switch it from fire to, I'm assuming ice would be the counter to fire. Oh, wait, how did I get like, why did I get stuck? He's not bad though. These Vulcan dudes are just kind of annoying in general. Nothing else over here? Nope. His uh, weapon stamina does go down pretty quickly. It's not the end of the world, but it is fast. I wonder... Because we have that other one that we can unlock. I wonder what it'll be like. Hmm... We don't have a key. Force explosion. Perfect. Give us a new weapon for Osmond, or not. Chris knife. We are, like, out of stuff now, too, which is kind of annoying. Out of inventory space for, for main guy here. I'm hoping to find a moon spring. That's why I'm not giving him water. Plus, it's not like we're really going to be using him. Melee characters? Ick. No. Range for the win. Always. We need what? Goro? Smash the lever? Let's go, dude. How annoying are these gophers going to be to murder? Okay, so it takes, what, about two per shot? I guess that's one downside to using him instead of Zhao. Is just how much, like, repair powder we'll go through. But honestly, we have enough money at this point that it's really not that big of a deal. We're not hurting for money, like, at all. We are going to switch back to Zhao, so we're still hoping at some point to get a shuffle on Steve that'll help us out. That's not what I wanted. It's fine, though. Not the end of the world. I probably shouldn't have switched back to him. We're just going to have to switch back to... Oh, hi! We're just going to have to switch back to the main dude, like, instantly. Also, with that said, hold on. We can make his weapon significantly better by equipping stuff. I think it's Zhao that currently has it. We have, like, that gem that just raises everything a reasonable amount. Must be... What were we using? Were we using double impact? Nope. Bandit slingshot? There it is! We can equip this 
on Snail. Man, Snail has a lot of slots, huh? Metal Breaker, because we're, we're still hoping to kind of like funnel it into... Funnel everything into Steve eventually. There we go. Probably. So if, I mean, but if nothing else, like, why not? It still takes two per shot annoyingly. But oh well. Mimics are also just a pain in the ass. And I mean, ice probably isn't the best thing to use against them. I'm assuming fire would be better. You don't have, like, any type of special attack either, it doesn't look like. Either that or I just don't remember how to use it. I'm pretty sure you just hold X to use the special attacks, but memory very, very poor. I could be wrong. A petite fish? Le petit fish? It's weird that the petite fish don't seem to rot, but the big ones do. What's up with that? You and your stupid shield. Oh. Okay, well... That was rude. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Why am I stuck? <laughs> uh, that was annoying! Okay. It's fine. You stand in powder. Switch to, I guess, the Zhao. Whatever. You just need to- I'm still stuck. Thank God for a little bit of freaking <laughs> invulnerability whenever we spawn in. That was rude. I got pinned, man. I couldn't do anything. Alright, well... Thank goodness we have Revival Powder. So otherwise, I think we'd be kind of screwed. Can you get softlocked in a dungeon? Because if we didn't have any Revival Powder, and there was a gap that we had to go across, we would just be SOL, right? If we didn't have any Escape Powder either. I don't think there would be anything we could do at that point. What am I doing with this? Use. Oh, can we fly over the Zhao stuff too? Because this looks like something that maybe Zhao could jump over. Look, as long as we don't get another Vulcan in a short freaking corridor, then we should be good. Can do one more shot. There we go. Hush, game. It's fine. I know. I know. I hear you. I'm gonna repair it. Give me a second. I also gotta get a drink, apparently. Oh my god. One down. Wait. That was weird. Why did that just happen? I didn't hit anything. The game just brought up the freaking character select thing for me there. And then like started changing people. I'm wondering if, cause like I use, I do play on official hardware, right? I have an actual PS2 over there hooked up with a, the game disc in it. But I do use a special adapter that lets me use a PS4 controller on the PS2. That way I can, uh, you know, play wirelessly, it's just convenient. So I wonder if maybe... It must have just like glitched out or something, man. Like had some random connection issues and... That's why it like almost died out of nowhere. Or not almost died, but you get what I'm saying, man. Why it just freaked out. Nothing. Nothing! Those dudes are... I still don't understand them. They literally just stand there. They don't do anything. They don't even try to attack unless you get super close. No! Freaking Vulcans, man. Can you, like, stay... 
There we go. Can we exploit bad AI? Just keep you trapped there. Safe spot this dude, basically. Let's go, man. I'll take more of that, please. Can we go ahead and do the same thing to you? Because if you want to just, like, sit right there and not come over here at all... These dudes are, like, especially annoying, too, because of the way they jump around, right? The other ones are annoying because they freaking... They have the shields, and apparently they can just trap us <laughs> in a spot, and there's nothing we can do about it. We just exist there until we die. Or I guess if we get lucky enough to kill them. But the the gophers, they just freaking... They hop, man. I just want to see what we just got. Crest armor? I think that's what it was called, right? What is crest armor? No? Is it an attachment? Is it a... It wouldn't be a weapon, right? What the hell is crest armor? Am I stupid? Is that not what... I don't know. Whatever. I, th I don't know. I thought that's what it said, but maybe... Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, oh god, I almost forgot to repair. I mean, we have the auto repair powder equipped. We would have been fine. But it, it's literally like 10 times more expensive. So I'd rather not waste it. And apparently the like really good attachments at the end of the game are super expensive from what I've seen online. So we should try to save some amount of money. Six. Five, four, three, two. Heal again. Or repair again. Whatever. And dead. Okay. Chesty boy, you want to give us a repair powder? Help us pay for <laughs> using this weapon? No, you don't. Lame. Welcome to the chat room. Wait, did we get disconnected again? Yeah, stream got disconnected again, so... Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess we're just either super unlucky today, or maybe Twitch is having problems. Or, I mean, it's always possible that it is me this time. I didn't actually, like, run an internet test to see how well it was working. It's just usually it's not. But who knows? Who freaking knows, man? It's fine. Who needs, like... A solid connection to stream anyways you know we can just exist and do things is fun let me grab a drink though while we reconnect i think it i think it's yeah okay it's back up ah delicious delicious tea help me feel alive i need to hook up my playstation tv <laughs> Sorry, it's random. But I just I just looked over and saw it sitting there and realized that I haven't hooked it up at all since I bought it. Like, I haven't even checked to make sure the thing works. I'm sure it does, because I bought it from, like, an actual place. Like a, a retro game store. So I figure it's probably fine. I've never really had any problems other than like the random scratch disc or whatever, but the place that I go to, it's a local shop and he's really cool. And if I ever did have like actual problems, I could just take stuff back down to him and he'd resurface it or refund it or whatever, but I'm sure it's fine. I should have tried it though, <laughs> just to make sure. Your internet's been going out a lot in the new house you just moved into? That sucks, man. I had, there was an apartment that I lived in at one point that was like that the internet just was super unreliable super unreliable and it got to the point to where like i called the internet provider enough and complained enough twitch just went down again okay hold on we gotta check at this point is it me is my internet screwing up my download speeds slower than it should be admittedly a lot slower than it should be but my upload speed is more than enough 
to handle a Twitch stream. Literally over double what I need to handle a Twitch stream. Although both are slower than, than normal. Of course, that was just Google speed test. It could be like, here, what does like actual speed test? How well does that go? Oh yeah, no, no, okay. Yeah, that one's working much, much faster. So I don't think it's me. I'm pretty sure it's just Twitch again. Um, but anyways, what was I saying? It, yeah, no, the one of the apartments I used to live in, it got to the point to where I called and complained enough to the ISP that eventually they finally sent somebody out to test it. Oh, no. Hello. I didn't know you were here, Vulcan. Okay. Can we, like... Of course you have a shield. Um, yeah, no, I called and complained enough that eventually they sent somebody out. And it turns out the problem was the lines there was too much interference in the line or no there wasn't it wasn't too much interference the the connection just wasn't strong enough to support internet service there they like had degraded over time or something and with it the connection had degraded so they ended up having to like replace some of the some of the line coming into the building and then they also had to put a uh, signal booster in line with it. And then after that, I had solid service again. But it was super annoying. It might be something similar with you, maybe? Obviously, I can't say that for sure. But that could be what's going on. The only way to know for sure would be, I guess... Well, there's probably equipment that you can get to test that sort of thing yourself. Um, and in fact, like, your modem can probably tell you what your signal strength is, I would imagine. It would just be a matter of, like, looking up to see what a regular signal strength is. Like, what a good signal strength is. But anyways, yeah, I would just bitch at your ISP and see if maybe they can do something about it. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Okay, we're actually gonna leave the dungeon temporarily. I hate leaving after just like one or two floors, but I need, I don't need, but I want to go to a storage place, which I can't remember if we have one here or not, but so we're just gonna teleport away to where I know where there's one at, no room village. Um, Cause I wanna get the however many Fruit of Eden and uh, Gourds that we have stored away. I'm going to go pick those up. Since we have our last character now, we can... We can use them all up, basically. Give everybody their stuff. And hopefully, uh... Be a little more survivable because of it. At the very least, we shouldn't have as many water problems with New Guy. Because I'm positive we have at least a couple of Gourds in storage. Oh, yeah, no, we got... We got a bunch. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. All the freaking gourds, dude. Let's go. Okay. And the rest are just, like, bombs. <laughs> oh, we can put our uh, gold in here, too. Our gold bars. We don't need to be carrying those around. Is that everything? I don't think we need anything else. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, so items. First off, we need to gourd our boy up until he's matched with everyone else. Oh, Umgaga's missing a gourd too, apparently. There you go, Umgaga. Didn't realize you were one short compared to everyone else. And then Osman gets probably all of the rest. There may be a gourd or two that we're missing somewhere in the world, but I'm hoping that it gives us, like, an even amount so that everybody has roughly the same amount of drink. Um, okay, we have two left. We'll give... Zhao is one of the people that we use the most, so she can have one. And then I feel like Osman's gonna be a good character for us, so we'll give him one. Why not? Now, with that said, how many freaking Fruit of Edens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we could give everybody one. I'd be a little annoyed, though, by all of the range characters being at 110. It's not an even number or a five. <laughs> like, I mean, it's an even number, technically, 110, you know? But, like, 120 
would be so much nicer. 150, so much nicer. <laughs> as stupid it is, as, as stupid as it is, I almost don't want to like screw up anybody's, but I think, I think we'll do it anyways, just because it makes it makes the most sense. I think. And then somebody, I guess, would. Or do we just focus it on? Uh, that's a hard choice. Just focus it on the melee characters. Nah, we'll give it to everybody. And then we'll give, I guess, Zhao two of them. Because again, Zhao is like our main dude. Osmond's defense is pretty good for starting out too. Yeah, that should be, everybody should be at 160 and 110, yep. So now you can have an extra, and you'll be at 120. Wait, we have another Gord? Am I stupid? Okay, well then give the extra Gord to Stream, I guess. I mean, he is literally the main character, so... That seems like a reasonable plan to me. And since we're here and there's a shop, like, right outside, let's go ahead and sell the couple fish bait thingies that we have to get rid of them real quick. Just to clean them out of the inventory. Store. I would like you to buy... How much did the keys sell for? 400. It's not bad, and honestly, we don't really need the keys for anything. Because we can always just guess what what it is screw it sell it now do we have anything else we can sell for like 30 how much do you sell for 30 let's go that's another gold bar and if we do die die now we won't really have to worry about losing any cash uh moon sea let's go Next floor, please. Hopefully a couple more floors before we have to screw with it again. Four ten. You know, it's terrible. I still don't know really how many floors there are per dungeon. It seems like it's... You get thirsty quicker. That's one of the most annoying ones, too. Anyways, it seems like it's fairly consistent. The number of floors between... On each dungeon. I don't know if it's exactly the same or not, but I think it's somewhat close. Can I... Be careful or you'll fall. Okay, so I cannot... Oh. Or two... Is there somebody else behind me? It sounds like there's somebody else behind me. I should upgrade this. I just realized that it's full. But we definitely want to take this off first. And I wouldn't mind boosting your attack, even though it's not technically helpful for what we want to do eventually. Which is Super Steve. Super Steve is like always the final goal, right? But it'll make it a little bit nicer for us just right now. So yeah, upgrade snail. More endurance, more attack. And then put the thingy back on. For just boost to everything. And then... I guess it doesn't really matter what else we give you. More attack is always nice. Sure, undead if we run across any, and mimics are always a potential problem. I, I don't feel like he needs speed at all. He already seems pretty speedy. You want to die, Mr. Titan? Please? I don't know who's behind me, but I'm scared that they could be very rude like a Vulcan! Go away, Vulcan. I don't like having like two giant tanky dudes following us around at the same time. That's kind of really rude, honestly. It seems like if we just circle the Vulcan, they're not too bad. I think, I don't remember who, but last week somebody was telling us, or the last time we played, 
that they think it may be like some sort of weird AI where if you back away from them, they put their shield up. I think that may be true. It definitely feels more and more true the more that we fight those dudes. You would think they would have also done it so that if you're circling them, though, it would have done the same thing. As like if you're backing up from them constantly. Because you can still like basically just kite a dude forever by circling them. Might as well grab the chest too, if I can find it. Map! Maps are nice. Do we have a drinking fountain anywhere here? Not that I can see, annoyingly. It's okay. I mean, we bought water recently. So it's not the end of the world, it just sucks because we're probably going to have to leave and buy more water soon. If we do, I guess we could go ahead and buy his other item. Um, no, we won't have enough money to buy his other weapon, now that I think about it. Because we spent all of our money on gold. We'd have to go get more gold. Is there a chance that a different attribute would do more damage to a golem? What about wind? For enemies weak against wind, yeah, but who's weak against wind? Is a, a stone titan weak against wind? Honestly, I have no clue. I was thinking maybe holy? Because to me, a golem is an undead, but I don't think that's like... I think that's just me being weird with my logic. And not an actual thing. But wind being strong against rock makes sense to me for some reason. Oh, dude, you're already ready to upgrade again? Okay. That's unexpected. Uh, we'll take this off again. And then give you... I mean, we're using wind right now, so I guess I'll give you wind? Or do we just, like, try to funnel you into Steve super quickly? And give you, like, a bunch of metal breakers and stuff. We could do that. We have a limited number of metal breakers and stuff anyways, though. So, you know what? We're just going to leave it. We'll go ahead and upgrade it as is. And then maybe, like, the next two upgrades will fill it full of metal breakers. Maybe. That back on there again. And then... I guess let's just try to max out the wind damage that we're doing. Uh, we should be able to safely do one more. Wait, we're not out of repair powder already, are we? Holy crap, dude, we had like a million freaking repair powder. This thing goes through so much. Oh my god, okay. Well, I guess we are gonna have to leave after this floor just to get more repair powder. That's freaking terrible. And we're thirsty too because of the stupid thing on the, the floor. The curse on the floor? I don't know what you actually call it. To me, it feels like a curse. Not that kind of curse, sadly. Not the kind of amulet can help with. That would be helpful. No, why would you put your shield up, you bastard? Wait. Why were all of our attacks missing him like that? That was weird. And fairly annoying. I'm glad they're not now. We're gonna have to switch back to Zhao, though, to finish up this floor. Which, I mean, is fine. I, I, Zhao's still my favorite character, but... Like, he's good, too. I'm enjoying using him. 
but his weapons are just too squishy. How am I missing, bro? The shots are like literally going straight through him sometimes, it looks like. Let's go. Thirst has reached its limit. It can stay at its limit because we switch in. We go into Zhao now. And I guess with Zhao, we were trying to level up. I have Steve equipped right now, but we were trying to level up some other stuff, right? Looks like the double impact. Yeah. Which we should also, before I forget, grab this off of you. I guess we'll put the wind on there for now in case I forget to switch it back later. Uh, and then give that to our boy, Zhao. Double impact, customize, take off a metal breaker for now. We'll put it back on before we upgrade you. There we go. Wait, 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 come on. Let us do the same. Ah, oh, no, why is the... Why is safe spotting not working? Why do you keep guarding? Oh, you're a bastard. Whatever, okay. We should be able to just do the circling you thing, at least. Well, maybe if we can not hit the... the Atla. Oh, you know what? That's one downside to Zhao that I just realized that other dude doesn't have. Zhao has to, like, stop moving for a second whenever she's shooting. He doesn't seem to have to do that. He can just, like, move and shoot forever with no issues. Don't acquire. Don't care. ABS is full. Awesome. Four, three, two. I don't feel like taking it any farther. Customize. Metal breaker. Upgrade, yes. Too bad upgrading doesn't also give us back some. Some whatchamacallit. Uh, oh, there's a timed two slot on here. That's pretty good. Um, doesn't give us back some weapon durability. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to use Steve for now. Yeah. Try and decide if I want to upgrade Steve or not. I mean, I guess we could go to the Steel Slingshot. It's just so weak. But it would take forever to kill anything, so no. Wait, 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 wait. Equip Steve, please, before we break our freaking weapon. Steve is not doing the damage I hoped he would. We have much more holy damage. Equip holy. Oh yeah, I forgot these dudes equip, or not equip, but these dudes drop, um, fishing bait. Which is very, very handy for our money woes. If we get lucky enough with it, maybe we will be able to buy that other weapon for a new dude. Explosion? Success. It seems like it's mostly explosion, and then explosion is also, like, by far the most dangerous one. So, like, you should probably just always pick Explosion. And then if it's not that, then you instantly know what it is anyways. Because it's either going to be... Like, you're either going to get cursed or you're going to get poisoned. And you're going to know which one. And neither one of those is that bad anyways. Poison sucks, but you can just switch to another character. It's not like I don't carry around antidotes anyways, or full heals, or whatever. 
Um, is there a button? There's a hole that something could fit in? Is it this? Do we use a spear? What do we... Huh? Oh, there's a couple chests over here that I completely missed somehow. Okay. So yeah, there's there's probably like a crank. I, I feel like a crank is a thing. I just noticed the phallic statue in the middle of this zone here too. Yeah, there we go. Handle. That'll work. I thought that was going to be one of the bridges where like we just have to smack it with Goro. So I was very confused whenever there's just a hole. us to put something in. Wink. Okay. Handle. Drop the thingy. Back to our Du Zhao. Maybe if I can move. Uh, definitely back to Zhao. I think Zhao will be able to hop across these ones. Yeah. New dude can fly across it too, which honestly, like, makes him that much better. That means he's twice as useful as any other character. Because he can get across two different kinds of gaps. Where everybody else at best can open up one type of door gap or whatever. Main dude can't open up any of them. Main dude kind of sucks in that regard. If it weren't for the fact that he could open Atla, he would be completely useless to us. Oh, okay. I see how it is, Vulcan. Wait, did you finally, like, pause and decide to stop putting your shield up? We have enough durability to kill this last dude! Repair powder! Nice, man. Fuck yeah, Titans. Alright, main bro. Open the Atla, and then sadly we have to leave the dungeon again. Gotch? That sounds like a person. Maybe that's the person we've been looking for. Everybody's out of thirst anyways. I'm just gonna use this guy. Just have to remember not to freaking shoot. Don't press the X button. His weapon will instantly break. We do have auto repair. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have actual repair powder now too. There we go. At least this way we don't have to listen to the beeping all the way there. Next freaking floor, let's go. Gunpowder. That's not gunpowder, that's just a random stone. And shoot us. Shoot us into the distance, please. Murder us. <laughs> Leave the dungeon. I need, I need powder. Powder to keep us going, powder to keep us alive. I would love to know how a random powder fixes your weapons, but is a is a video game. It's fine. It's just magic. Maybe. Are you shop? You are shop. Would you like to buy my wares? You can have a stone. <laughs> And anti-curse amulet, a couple random bugs and potato cakes. So it's 3,000. We definitely do not have enough. How much does that sell for? 400? Not even close. We have 2,000 if we sell this and our gold bar. How much does the power-up powder sell for? I mean, that is another 1,000, but that's also going to save us from having to grind out two levels, weapon levels at some point. So I'm like... Do I really want to, you know, sell them? Probably not. Yeah, no, fuck it. We'll get his weapon eventually. There we go. That's <laughs> just as many repair powders we can buy, because apparently we're going to freaking need it. 
How are we on water? We have enough to get us by. We'll be okay. I don't think I needed anything else, right? I'm pretty sure it was just look at the weapon, buy a bunch of repair powder. Pretty sure that's all we were doing. And this time, instead of like running back over there, let's just go to other area and teleport to the moon sea, please. <laughs> Before we do that, let's save the game. In case something bad were to happen. We did have the game crash once, I think. Which is, it's pretty rare for a PS2 game to crash on me. But I'm pretty sure it was this game. We, like... Was, did we try to save? Try to load? I don't remember what happened. But I think it was this one. We tried to do something and the game was just like, nope. This is scary. It's probably just you can only use new guy. That's probably the curse. I'm just, I'm hoping it's the new guy and not one of the other people. Yes, okay, that's the curse, that's fine. We can do that, we've been using him mostly anyways. We should though, put on the sun amulet thingy to give us a nice little boost. To his weapon. Customize you. Bam. Okay. Now we shoot. And we're thirsty already. There's not like a thing within view, is there? No. Okay. We'll take a drink of the basic water then. And then pray for a freaking a moon, a moon spring. I really don't like, like, these dudes are huge, man. I really don't like them, like, completely blocking the path like this. It is kind of really rude. And I'm, like, weary about going back too far because I don't want to run into more people. But looking at the mini-map, I think we're okay as long as we don't end up having to go around this bend. And it's, I'm really glad we bought more repair powder. There's no way. We wouldn't have even had a chance of getting through this floor if we hadn't gone back and bought more. We had, what, two auto repair powders and, and one actual repair powder, I think? Ooh, a moon bug. We haven't gotten one of you in a while. Okay, perfect. I'm pretty sure it's these guys that we can blow up with a bomb. Oh. Can we use directly from inventory? I don't remember. Oh, wait, are we out of bombs? Never mind, we're out of bombs. All right, just blow them up then. Or, well... <laughs> I want to blow him up. I can't blow him up. Just murder him then. That's what I meant. There we go. Murder. It's always the answer. Map is fine. There is a spring here. Please don't be a weapon for main guy. We have two... Oh, shoot. Wrong button. We have too many weapons for main guy. It's a weapon for main guy. Like, bro, why? Why him? Like, look at all these other people. I get that there's, like, more weapons in the game for him than other people. So, assuming they're all just in one giant loot table, then, like, fine. But, like, one weapon. One weapon. Two weapons. A handful of weapons. Four weapons. Completely full. Just give me... Literally anybody else give me a weapon for but the game constantly wants to give us them for the for the main dude. Maybe like most people play as the main dude and not as the range characters. But like I just I can't do it. The range characters are so much freaking better, man. Why would I ever want to play as I canonically his name's what like Tone or something like that? Why would I ever want to play as him when I got guns and magic and and a slingshot? <laughs> Dead, dead. All right. It's full again. 
Um, I guess we can go ahead and do, like I said, with the Metal Breaker stuff. So I do plan, maybe, I don't know. Does it really matter? I mean, we already gave you like one, so now I'd feel bad if I didn't give you the rest. This is new, so you're not gonna have anything. Do you have anything useful? You do not, well, no. No, you do not. How about you? Customize, nope. I doubt this one has anything. You have Mimics, Ice, nothing. Nope. Big nope. Oh. He should though. And we're looking for four Metal Breakers. Never mind. We might we might be out of Metal Breaker. I thought we had more than that, but shit, dude. I keep doing that. We go through these things so quick. I should probably just give up on any hope of getting Super Steve. Honestly, I feel like progress would be faster. Just having an actual end game weapon would be really nice, though. I'm just curious what the stats were on that. Endurance, and then that's just our basic dagger. Yeah, never mind. So we don't have anything, and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to upgrade them with wind power, I guess. Snail is now a wind machine. Because, screw it, why not? And with the way everything's all shuffled around right now, anyways, I don't know if it matters, man. Because we could put, like, everything into into Metal Breaker, and then we get shuffled again, and it just screws it all up, so, like, so, like, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day anyways, we just need a pray, we just need a hope. Uh, put this back on you, though, for sure, and then, I mean, like I said, it really doesn't matter, I don't think, we'll give you this endurance piece, I really don't think you need any more speed though hmm. screw it I'm gonna give you speed anyways there you go I have three more speed and then for Christ's sakes come and get a drink our endurance is finally high enough that we're not always using a full hit point per shot. Did not mean to open that chest. Potato cake, that's money. Thank you. Did I just hear somebody like, uh, we randomly loaded the moon bug. I was like, wait, do you actually like shoot things? I don't remember. Oh yeah, you have like some sort of weird cannon thing on your back, don't you? I kind of completely forgot about that. Everything here is so tanky. Either that or like, maybe wind is just a really bad thing to use against these guys. Let's try, I don't know, you're like a robot, right? Thunder? Okay, yeah, that's that's doing much better. So yeah, maybe they're resistant to thunder or to to wind specifically. Maybe I've just been screwing up all this time. Watch the freaking our feather broke. Watch the freaking uh titans be resistant to wind too, man. And repair. I don't remember how many repair powder we started with, but I know I looked at one point and we had 30. We're down to, what was it, 25? 26. So we've used it more than four. 
We've used like six so far on this one floor and we've only explored, what, a third of it? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And our endurance doesn't even seem that bad. It's just like, I guess our hit points are just really low. 52 doesn't seem like a low, low number. Yeah, our endurance is 56. Like, you would think the weapon wouldn't die so quickly. Maybe that's the way they balance him by just having his weapons be super squishy. So like, he's not a glass cannon, but the weapons he use are? That's some kind of balance, I guess. Poisonous apple, gross. Oh, God. Don't mind me, I'm just dying a little bit. Is this where, where did we kill the dude at? 21, 23, 33, 42, 30, okay. Maybe Thunder is the way to go for some reason. I mean, I'm not 100% sure how damage calculations work. It could have something to do with range or something, I don't know. But it seems to be dealing a lot more damage now than it was just a, a moment ago to these guys. And our attack hasn't gone up that much. Well, I say that because I was looking at the numbers. If I actually look at the health bar, it seems to still only go down like a sliver per shot. So maybe it's closer to the same than I realized. They dead, they dead. Give me my, like, 15 gold or whatever you had. Whatever mostly useless thing they drop. Speaking of useless, this whole section is next. I guess we can grab a drink while we're over there. That's something. Fill our water. S step on the thingy. We can't switch to Zhao. Hey, max weapon hit points increase. That's actually really good for us. So my biggest complaint with him is his durability, so that's nice. There's no real reason to go over here if we have the gunpowder yet, which we do. But it always feels good to me to actually complete a floor, like completely clear it out. I don't think the game gives a shit if you do outside of just being able to uh, teleport out of that floor for free. Other than that, I really don't think the game cares at all, but it feels good to me to do it. And I mean, technically, like, you get a little bit of experience and whatnot too, which, you know. Weapon experience is nice. Leveling up your weapons is nice. Okay, well, we got hit, but it didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it was gonna do, so we good. When we got hit, I thought we were dead, to be honest. I don't even know. Did we get hit by the snail? The moon bug, rather? Like, I heard him shoot, but since we were going around in circles, I was like, there's no way that shot's going to hit us, right? We're fine. And then I didn't see what hit us, but it had to have been. So we were far enough back from the golem that he wasn't going to hit us. At least I'm pretty sure. Oh, God, man. I'm dying. I'm so tired all the time. That's why I drink tea. All the tea. To keep me alive. <laughs> yes, next floor. Take me down all the way down as far down as we can go i hear a bug i think or a vulcan it's a vulcan you're a bastard vulcan can we get you stuck again can we get you stuck but without your shield going up i think we did hell yeah exploiting poor ai man it's my favorite one more shot. 
He's still alive, you bastard. No, this is gonna be another level up for us, though. At this point, we might want to switch to somebody else just because we're out of... <laughs> we're pretty much out of things to throw on him. There you go, you can have some ice, I guess. Six, I mean, we... I'm really torn on whether to put him on... Steve or not. What do you need to be upgraded, or to be built up? You have two paths. One is just all of the attributes, that's it. And the other one is everything, <laughs> basically. More attack, more speed, more MP, all the attributes. Okay. Yeah, we're probably just gonna end up turning him into a Sun Sphere and getting rid of him after we... We'll wait until we get another weapon, probably, just so we have something still usable for him. But yeah, we're probably just going to get rid of him. Dump him into Steve. I don't think... so. I, I haven't actually looked this up, but I don't think there's an actual weapon level cap. I think it just becomes harder and harder to level that. Ooh, there's a times two. I think it just becomes harder and harder to level them up each time you do because of the whole... Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what we put on you, huh? It's all garbage. Let's just put something so you have it. Because, like, it takes more experience points, right? Oh, no, we want that one there specifically. Um, and yeah, so obviously the more experience it takes, the longer it takes, etc. But I don't think there's actually any... Like, you cannot level it up past this. You either have to upgrade it, or... Oh my god, this is the worst. No! Bro, this is actual trash. <laughs> like, that spot over there is so small. <laughs> he has a freaking shield. Wait, did we... Okay. I think we got him locked in at this point. It's like such a small gap to fight anything in, and these freaking Vulcans love to just trap you in place. That was garbage. We don't have the crank yet, do we? No. All right, we'll come back to that then. Gotta go this way for now. Somewhat useful. Let's us know what we're getting into before we go somewhere at least. Oh, hey, there's the handle, cool. Let's kill the enemies first. Oh, we haven't seen a witch in a while. I forgot how annoying the witches were with their teleporting and crap. Legitimately, I think we're going to have to go back soon and buy more repair powder, as bad as that is. My guard are we chugging through it. Oh, shoot. Did we not refill everybody? Oh, we were locked to just him on that floor. I was like, we had a thing on the last floor. Why didn't we refill everybody's water? Because the game wouldn't let us. That's, that's why. Yeah, fair. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> That's a good reason to not do something. The game literally won't let you do it. At least there's another one up here, so... What are you? Why do you look like a floating finger? What is that? What are you shooting me with? Also, that was stupid. We could have broken Snail there. I was too preoccupied with whatever the hell a Crescent Baron is. Are we hitting? I can't even tell which one we're hitting. Okay, yeah, we're hitting the Baron, right? Every once in a while it looked like we were hitting the Titan, so I was just, I was concerned, I was confused. 
there's another Baron behind him. Six. One more. Gotta maximize what little repair powder we have left. Spending a thousand gold on it obviously wasn't enough. <laughs> Does the game just expect you to like go into these places with a inventory full of nothing but repair powder? Funds decreased a little and that's not that big of a deal, but a little annoying whenever you, we need to buy stuff soon. Okay, yeah, that should be everybody. Drank, filled with health. Ready to go. Eagle head, okay. That sounds like something that should have been in the desert sands or whatever the name of that place was that we were, not here. Urn. These are all sounding super familiar. <laughs> Arts T I R. Don't know what that is. E I R. Tear, tire, t torso? Right? Thumb in rear? I don't. I'm not even sure they actually stand for anything like that, but it makes sense to me that they would. So I feel like it probably does. I just have no idea what. Oh, come on. Can we shoot you? Th oh, we can shoot you through this. There's no way you're going to be able to get on this bridge. you way too big to get up here, right? Oh, he's dead. We wasted. Wasted stuff. Down to 17. We've used at least half of our repair powder at this point. Ooh, bomb nuts. Those are actually good. Do we switch to Zhao? I think we're going to switch to Zhao. Still hoping to get a shuffle on Steve. Status of the... I think that's a shuffle. I'm pretty sure status means shuffle. So, customize. Okay. It's better than it was, I think, but still not best case scenario, right? What we need is for this anti-rock to go here to anti-metal and preferably for anti-mimic to switch with anti-mage. But this is a lot better than it was, at least. Because the three we need, we need anti-metal, anti-mage, and anti-undead. Those are the three that we actually need to be able to like upgrade him. Or status. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not status break. Build up. Thank God there's a pop up there. We would have had to reload. Oh, we still need more MP, too. And thunder. But yeah, see? We still don't have enough of any of them. I don't know how high they need to be. It could be high, high. Which is why I'm saying we should probably just give up on Steve, Super Steve, to be honest. Just like we've spent so long on it now that it feels. It feels wrong, you know, to even, like, consider um, giving up on him. Sorry, I was reading Steve's thing down there. Asking or saying that he knows that we probably wonder how we can serve Steve better. And not to worry, a list is coming? Are you already ready to level up? You are. 560. Hmm. Wait, who's closer? You're plus four. What are you at? You're also plus four. Let's just keep going with, with new guy, actually. Get him to the point of status breaking.
See, the other reason why I'm like, maybe we should give up on Steve. Or Super Steve, rather, is because, like, if we stop putting all of our status broke stuff on Steve, then we could put our synth spheres on other people or on other weapons which would just give us more good usable weapons it might not be as strong as what super steve would be but just having more good stuff to use in general like it'd be really nice to have a strong weapon for him and a strong weapon for ruby as well like all of our mange mange to ranged characters at least i mean i guess mange kind of makes sense mage and ranged ruby's a mage the other two are ranged they're manged it'd probably be the better thing to do it just sucks giving up on a goal that we've had for like the first three quarters of the game I hear another witch. Oh, and a Vulcan. Nice. No, the freaking... Does he, like... Does he have a way of, like, stunning us? Is that what's going on with the Vulcan? Get rid of you. And I guess... I mean, it doesn't need any more holy, I don't think. Well, again, I... We're just going to give up on it. So it doesn't even freaking matter. Just here. Upgrade. Yep. There you go. Enjoy it. Now, can we status break you immediately? We can, but we don't have another weapon to put you on. So I think we'll just leave you alone for now. We're still going to definitely put on this, though. It sucks that, like, the weapon's actually weaker now after we upgraded it because we no longer have that plus two slot. So, like, even though it leveled up by one, since we're not getting double the damage increase from the uh, Sun Sphere, the weapon's technically worse than it was. Please die. Thank you. Mellow banana. I don't remember what a mellow banana is. Is that... Is it fish bait? Is it food? Is that... Are there two different types of banana? Or is that the one that when we eat it, it drains our thirst a little bit? Like it restores health but drains thirst. Should we go and get the better weapon for him? I think so. Especially because we're probably going to need more repair powder anyways. So we go and buy the other weapon for him. Synth Sphere, the one we have, equip it to that to give it a big boost in stats. And then, assuming that other more expensive weapon is at least as good as the one we're using, then we have two good weapons. One for Zhao, one for him. I think that's a decent plan. It sucks we're going to have to make another trip out of here. Because that's going to slow down progress again. So we got to go back to No Rune Village. Grab a few... It's what, 3,500? We probably have at least 500 gold worth of stuff we can sell. But we're going to need three sets of gold bars to make up the rest of the money that we need. Yeah. We got to plan at least. That's something. That's something. A plan is better than no plan. A plan is better than nothing. We'll take what we can get. I wish we could use Dran's Feather out in the overworld, too. I'm used to zooming now. I would like to sell you a rock. <laughs> and a mellow banana. 
And another rock. Okay, we really don't have much to sell, do we? Mm. Oh, we got a potato cake. And screw it, sell that too. And I guess sell that. We still need the two gold bars, though. We don't have enough stuff to make it up otherwise. Okay. Alright, let's go grab the gold bullion, go get his weapon. I really hope it's good. I hope it's not trash. Imagine it's fucking trash, man. After we since fear his decent but very squishy weapon. To get a new one that's like twice as expensive and it just ends up being garbage. Like <laughs> that would suck. Is there anything we wanna store? No. We do have, wait. Did I get two? Yeah, okay. We do have, like, a decent amount of gold saved up. It's just, I'm trying to save as much as possible for the next area whenever we get the good upgrade stuff available to us in the shop. But I feel like buying a weapon... Uh, we might as well stop at the factory, too build up what we have but i feel like getting another decent weapon is more important than saving money for that so priorities menu config not sure what can be put down this can be put down Sure, right there. Oh, did we battle? Did we win or did we lose? I missed it. I'm guessing we lost. Since, like, we look sad. Or did you breed? Oh, no, you breed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. He looks okay. He just looks sleepy, that's all. He's not bad. <laughs> I'm really putting this stuff down with, like, no regard for anything. Uh, sure, you can go here. You can go here. <laughs> now we fighting. Let's go. And we won. Get your ass kicked, dude. Tried to take on our dragon. Bo be the best dragon, man. Ain't nobody else standing a chance. Did we get the leafy thing? Oh, wait, there's like multiple people. Okay. Ah, yes! Okay. There we go. And we actually got an event this time, too. Little Eccentric and Wears Goggles. That would be you, then. There's another event. Essential to create a durable body? Is it this? An urn? No. Is it this? No. Ah, you! A scale! Yes! Makes the body even more durable. This. Crest armor. Oh, that's what crest armor was. Duh. Central part power of giants. Is that like the sun crystal thing or whatever that they told us we needed? I'm thinking that's that. Okay, well, this is definitely the skirt. Part of the bone of something. Is it this? A skull? Okay. Horn of some animal, that's you. You're definitely an urn. Serious pilot with goggles on forehead. Is it you? Is it you? Nope, okay, there's more than three people that we need. Oh wait, that's that must be a different kind of urn. Sharp and made of hard minerals. Oh, is it this? A nail? Yeah, okay. I think that's everything we can do right now, then. We have a couple events. Do we just, like, hop down here onto the ground and the events just happen? We've eaten, nice. This seems like an event, though! I gotta pee, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I think after this event, we're gonna take a short break so I can go pee. <laughs>
that was a quick event. Okay, <laughs> I expected more than to just the dude to like look around a little bit and that to be the end. Which parfait? Wait, can we get down from you? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there's a ramp. I'm blind. Anyways, okay. No, I really do got a B. So it was them cookies that. Oh, shoot! I missed that message. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the cookies that helped the fight. Of course, duh. The RP dude. I got a P. The ninth one before. And, and I'm pretty sure the last one for this area before we had to wrap this up here, but we only got about three minutes left, so I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. Um, it's very nice. Where it going? Max nanotech increase? What does that mean? I'm assuming it's a good thing, but I don't really know what we did, not gonna lie. So this thing's got some wicked ass targeting. Are we being shot at? Hi, friendo. Uh, you're gonna die now. Oh, another one. Hi. Can I can I shoot you? No, I guess not. That must be like the the guy with the camera or something, you know, like filming this whole thing for some reason. That makes me think of like the documentary and like commercial um, filmers, cameramen, whatever, uh, <laughs> photographers. Anyways, point is they'll be they'll be like in some part of the world with you know a lot of starving people and and crime and things like that and like they'll be there there'll be like a starving child and they'll be taking pictures of it and and or shooting commercials using using footage of the the starving child and it's like dude how can you just sit there and watch this fucking child starve instead of just i don't know giving them a fucking sandwich or something like i i never understood that man I guess maybe they tell their, themselves, you know, it's to raise awareness, and the more awareness, the more good can be done in the long run. But, like, I hope, at least, that they, like, give that child something to eat, and then they're like, okay, now look sad and hungry for me, <laughs> you know? Which is still kind of fucked up, but it's a hell of a lot better than just making some child starve for an unnecessary amount of time. For real. Are we still in the machine? Because if we're still in the machine, this is going to be trivial at best. No, we're not. Okay. Ow, dude, we didn't even get a chance to move yet. Give me a second, Zombros. Oh, that's cool. I just noticed that some of the zombies uh, split into two. Like they're the top half of their body is just walking around trying to get to you. And then the, uh, the bottom half is walking around aimlessly. Looks like they have no idea what the hell they're doing. Probably because, you know, they can't see or hear or do anything, really. That's cute. I like that. Oh, hi there, friend. You were awfully close. Hey, sp speaking to my fellow Bethesda game lovers out there, um, if you guys play Fallout, I don't remember if any of you actually play Fallout, but the, uh, the Fallout 3 recreation for Fallout 4, or in Fallout 4, is going pretty well. They recently released the completed version of... Uh, Point Lookout, the DLC for Fallout 3. They they released the uh, completed version of it, completely remade in Fallout 4. So if you're a Fallout 3 fan, dude, you should download it. Even if you're not a Fallout 3 fan, it's a pretty cool area to play around in. And, uh, I mean, it's a DLC, or it's a DLC-sized mod. So uh, that's fucking cool, you know? More Fallout 4 goodness. And if you like Fallout 3, then a, a bit of a trip down memory lane at the same time. You don't play it, but you've heard of it, Rude? Dude, you should totally try it out. It's a lot of fun, man. I love the Fallout series. It is a shooter, but it's like, it's not 100% focused on the shooting. It's also about, I mean, it's made by the same people that make Skyrim. So it's also about the exploration and the interaction with people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Fallout 3's DLCs are amazing. Yeah, dude. I never finished Point Lookout, but I'm probably going to download it for Fallout 4 and complete it there because that looks a lot of fun. Like a lot of fun. Objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. It's a post-apocalyptic world where you're just trying to survive, man. I don't know. Doesn't seem that weird to me. <laughs> but you're entitled to your opinion. That's fine. You can think it sounds weird. I personally love it, though. There, There's... Uh, it's 
I probably like Fallout more than I like Elder Scrolls. Probably. I go back and forth on that, but but I I don't know, man. Yeah, I probably like Fallout more. Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 more than I like uh than I like any of the Elder Scrolls games that I've played. But I still absolutely fucking love, you know, the Elder Scrolls games. Don't get me wrong. But something about Fallout just resonates with me a bit more than uh than, than Skyrim and shit does most of the time. Okay, strafe is L2 R2. Hello, we back. <laughs> Sorry, I really had to go. But we good now, man. I feel refreshed. I no longer have to pee. <laughs> That's nice. That's handy, you know? It feels good to not have my bladder exploding on me. Phrasing. Um, mighty healing? Okay, there's a lot of chests around here. That's, like, one big benefit of this area, I guess, compared to, like, the towns that we're usually exploring, right? Because the towns, those chests could be anywhere. They could be inside buildings. They could be... I just took a drink. Five, one, I nine, just, just took a redeemed drink. Okay, I got you. I got you. Drink time. Hmm. Build up that second round of bladder exploding, huh? Anyways, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah, no, like, these chests could be anywhere. <laughs> they could be inside buildings, they could be behind buildings, they could be anywhere, spread out. At least this one, like, everything's just here on the floor as far as I can tell. There might be a little bit around, like, the outside perimeter or something, and there looks like there might be a chest floating up there. I'm not sure how we get that. But most of them are just, like, here. Admission ticket? That must be for... The Coliseum. Yeah, okay. From storming into the Coliseum? Is that, like... Is that gonna be the last... Section of the sea, I'm guessing? It's gonna be, like, a Coliseum battle thing or something? Stamina drink. Holy. Can we get, I don't know, defense increases for our people? That would actually be... Like, if I had to pick what for us to get, that's probably what I would pick. Got another gourd. Another fruit of Eden. Magic power plus two. Grass cake. That's a defense increase item. Stone breakers, whatever. Can we go... Where's the lookout tower? Can we put those ladders on? Can we actually climb the ladders? Because I wouldn't be surprised if there's some stuff up here. Ooh. Up at the top of it. Or middle? Both, actually. Because I think there's like two sections to it. Another fruit of Eden? I mean... Health is defense in a roundabout way. Or is defense health in a roundabout way? I guess both. <laughs> Nothing at the top. That sucks. Okay. Bit of a waste of time coming up here. Do we have enough gourds and fruits of Eden to even everybody out now? Probably not. Plus, I'm sure we've missed a couple somewhere. Which parfait, though? That can go to Ruby. A little bit of defense for you. And then we got the grass cake, which is for Goro. Didn't we have a grass cake? Oh, it's right there. I'm blind. He needed it, man. His defense is so bad. Like, it's lower than literally everybody else's. I don't know if I've just missed all of his pickups somehow, or if he's just meant to be squishier than everybody else. You would think with him, like, hulking around with this big-ass sword thing that he carries, that he would be one of the more tanky people, but apparently not, man. 16120, 16120, 16120. Okay, so everybody's evened out right now, and we have an extra one. I'm gonna give it to Zhao. Don't know if I'm gonna regret that, but it's fine. And then, for the water... I wonder, is there a limit on how much water like we can actually give somebody? Does the bar just incre keep increasing forever? I'm tempted to try to max somebody. You know, they have enough. It's going to bug me at not being even on everybody. 
but now I'm just like curious. Okay, so there is a limit. That's the limit. Good to know, I guess. Who's our next probably gonna use the most person? Probably Osmond. He's the one we're trying to get a good weapon for right now. After all. So I wonder if that means there's enough gourds to max out everybody's water eventually. There doesn't have to be or anything, I'm just curious. If there would be. I know I saw a chest around this outside perimeter somewhere. Near one of the ramps. At least I thought I did. Am I crazy? Maybe I picked it up already. Oh, whatever. It was probably nothing good. It is usually no big deal. Turn camera, please. Be so much easier to see things if you would just cooperate. I don't immediately see any more chests that we're missing at least, so... I'm gonna say we're good, let's leave. All right, where's the shop? We need to get our weapon. And pray that it's freaking good. If not, I guess we could try to level up the other one, Synth Spirit, into the one that we have instead. Oh, there's another chest right here, though. That's another gourd. Look at that. Okay. I think the game probably does give us enough to max out everybody, then, if we find absolutely all of them. Uh, You know what? Let's max out... Let's max out stream. The main dude, why not? And then we can focus on the other ones after. I would like to sell you some gold, please. And then buy a jackal, an upgraded machine gun. Fires magic bolts. Just a regular machine gun. I'm really worried this weapon's gonna suck. We bought it now. It's too late to take it back. I mean, we could sell it back, but, like, we'd probably get fuck all for it. Okay, attack of 30, endurance of 35, speed of 65, MP's kind of low. Honestly, I almost feel like the other one was probably better. But... I can't remember for sure how it started, and now it's been upgraded so many times that, like, it's unfair. Oh, plus it has this equipped, still. So it only actually has an attack of 43 versus 30. Yeah, so it's not that much different. Status break it. Turn it into a Sin Sphere. Let's go. And then... Customize... You... Go there. Instantly maxes out speed and attack. Perfect. And gives us a little bit of all the other stuff, too. And then we can put this on here. Although, it's not going to have as much effect. It gives us a bunch of attribute stuff. But it's not going to give us the attack increase that we want. And then, what do you need? I wish if we went to build up, it actually showed us, like, with the current stats, if we needed more or not. You need all of the attributes for that one, and then literally all of the other stuff for that one. <laughs> God, these weapons are, like, impossible to upgrade. I'm sure th there's, like, a good way to go about it, but, like, bro, I suck. What do you want from me? Mm, what's your best two? Wind and Holy? What if we just give you MP so you can make better use of what you do have? That seems like a decent plan to me. Alright. Please don't suck. Weapon. And I don't feel like running over there, so just teleport. 
to Moonsea. We probably should have bought some repair powder where we were in there. Because uh, we're going to run out again. I mean, with any luck, this weapon won't die nearly as easily as the other one did. And it'll be fine. But can't know that for sure until we give it a shot. Swap to you. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. No, 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 no. Wrong weapon equipped. I was so scared for a second, man. I was like, we're doing one per shot after all of that? No. No, no, no. Okay, we're fine. That's much better. That's much freaking better, man. The only thing we got to be careful of with this one, since it's a machine gun, we got to be careful that we don't break it because you just hold down the, the button to keep attacking, right? So it's just gonna keep taking down the freaking durability. So we gotta, we gotta be careful, we gotta control that a little bit. But, that's okay, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. Good weapon, I like it. And based off of our very limited tests of killing, like, one dude so far. Two dudes? Two dudes so far. It does actually seem like it might be a little bit more durable than the last thing we were using. I mean, I guess wind is our highest. I still don't know what anything's weak to here, though. Like, are we dealing more damage or less now? I can't actually tell. Oh, you're a dick. Oh my god, I hate you so much! Leave me alone! Oh, why? Okay, hold on. Wait, did he die? Okay, um, you know what? Let's go heal. I guess we killed him? Either that or they, like, run away after a while? I'm not sure what happened with him. Maybe he teleported and it's just like he teleported far enough back that he's not showing up now? You're new. Hi, Arthur. Arthur's also a freaking tank, apparently. Will Thunder work better? Thunder works much better. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We should just fix you now. I think it's going to be a little bit hard to min-max the weapon HP on a machine gun. Oh, it's full already. So I guess now we have to decide, though. Do we commit and give the sense sphere to the jackal i think so honestly because again it's just it's nice to have two different viable characters but we definitely take this off and put thunder on put thunder on again even though i think we need thunder for super steve too but again fuck it upgrade confirm yes So now if we were to try to build you up, we would satisfy all of the needs except for MP on this one. And then of course all of these. Oh, six was enough on Metal Breaker. So I wonder if that's all it needs. Maybe it doesn't actually need that much to be able to upgrade or to build up to whatever that is at least. This one seems like it's going to need a bit more, though. So then, I guess let's put a Mimic on you. And then you need MP still, so. Like that. And then, yeah, and then we would take this off. 
before we upgrade. Because even though that might instantly get us the ability to build it up, maybe, I really don't want to lose the sun gem thing. The sun gem thing's just like really freaking good. It's too good to just throw away on maybe upgrading it. It's more like a capstone, you know? Something you just put on after you upgrade to add that little extra oomph to it. Oh, you're a bastard. Bro, yes, this is so much freaking quicker. Like, it kills things fast. I like it. It probably kills things faster than Zhao does. It just uses more ammo in the meantime. Okay, so it's a poison trap. And... Hey, it's a new weapon for us. At least it's not for the dude. I'm fine with that. And it's so much freaking better <laughs> than the Jackal. Of course it is, though. <laughs> Bro, we paid money for the Jackal. A lot of money for the Jackal. And then instantly we get something that's better than the Jackal. That's... That's freaking annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying. Well, whatever. I guess once the jackal's ready the synth sphere, we'll throw it into the swallow then. Oh, uh, we should probably uh use an antidote. So we're not constantly losing health. We could also just leave the dungeon and come back and fix it that way, but quicker to use an antidote and honestly we don't deal with poison enough that it's whatever and we have like the full cure thingies so screw them it's fine just use it man otherwise i'll just like have this crap until the end of the game for no reason Oh shoot, you got over here quick, didn't you? You a fast dude. Give me money, I'm gonna need that. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. We need to be more safe. <laughs> I thought, I thought I could stop it at two. And I thought that was going to be safe. No, 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 no. We got all the way down to one. So I need to stop it at like three or four to be safe. It's not worth losing the weapon, especially now that we've thrown a synth sphere into it. Is not... The 20 gold it costs to buy repair powder is not worth losing all that. Not even close. You want to die, maybe, Arthur? Thank you. I want to, like, fight more kinds of enemies now. I want to see what this thing can really do. I'm somewhat excited for the boss. Customize. Take this off. Put on Endurance isn't maxed yet, so put on Endurance. And then Upgrade. Confirm. And then put this back on, and since we don't have any of these things, wait, oh, it's because I have the thing, that was a waste, it's because I have the thing on, never mind, customize, I was like, hold up, hold up, if these things are high enough, maybe we can just go ahead and build it up, but no, I'm just dumb, mm, I guess just give it... We have a lot of holy on what's his name, so let's give it fire so we have something that's a little bit different. Never know what you're going to come across, what they're going to be weak to. Funds decreased. It's fine. Water! Water's always nice. Bro, <laughs> that's so much faster. Hell yeah. Him and Zhao are like a dynamic duo, man. Although he is just kind of a better Zhao now. 
Right, he's still ranged like Zhao is. His weapon that we have for him feels... I mean, each shot, I guess, is a little less powerful. Hence, using extra repair powder. But it's so freaking quick. I definitely think it's worth. Big urn. Okay. <laughs> Get freaking wrecked, dudes. Last chest. What do we got? Oh, the map. Well, <laughs> very handy. Thanks, game. Uh, <laughs> and we're definitely using less repair powder than we were a minute ago. So even though this thing still kind of chews through it, it's so much stronger that it's not, it's not as bad. For this whole floor, we used, what, like three repair powder? Maybe four? The floor before this, we used like 15, so <laughs> is much, much better. Black powder. And shoot us off into the distance, please. Are guns allowed in this Coliseum? Hopefully. If not, man, we're going to end up being screwed. <laughs> like, if I can't just fire away, if I can't just blast away at people, what are we going to do? We're going to be fucked. I hear somebody, a titan maybe? You dead. Bruh, nobody stands a chance against the machine gun. Makes me think of the memes, like... If you were in the Harry Potter universe, you know? Just <laughs> casting Glock. <laughs> blasting away at people. That's what this is making me think of now. Everybody else is using, like, swords and slingshots and shit. And then this dude, Osman, just shows up with a freaking machine gun. Just started blasting, man. Like, of course nobody else stands a chance. What do you expect them to do? They weren't ready for this. They're still using medieval technology. We over here with bullets. amazing how much faster like the floors go whenever we have good stuff good weapons oh I should probably like step in the water with him too huh there we go Ooh. back to him can we get people maybe turtle shell I don't know, now that I know there's, like, yet another person that we need, I just kind of want to get them already. It bugs me not having them. ABS is full again. It's amazing how quickly these things level up, too. Compared to, like, Zhao stuff. But that's because Zhao stuff is usually a high level, or we have to freaking weapon swap to get any experience on them. So, of course, it takes freaking forever. Put you back on, and fire. Fire's got to be getting high now, right? Yeah, it's at 28. It's just, hmm, we'll try it. We'll try the fire. I don't know if it's actually going to be better. It's much higher of a number than the thunder is, but... I don't know what anything is weak to around here, though. Oh, these dudes are like dangerous, man. They hit me so easily. This is stupid. There we go. It's like, if I just keep tapping, I think it'll be okay. But like in the back of my mind, I was like, bro, we're gonna lose this freaking thing. I mean, not really, because we have the auto repair powder, but like, it, it scared me though. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I did it. It was dumb. But it's fine. It all ended up okay in the end. That's all that matters, right? Uh, okay, back to this way again. Oh, our feather broke again. How many do we have left? One, two? Two, good. We're still going to have to get another one soon, but 
I'm hoping we can finish this dungeon with the ones that we have. Or if the game wants to be kind, it'll give us another one? Not yet. Maybe eventually? Aw, oh, what? I thought for sure we were out of range of that. Is there literally nothing over here but a single... Atla? Oh, no, it like wraps way around, huh? When I saw like how far over to the side this went, I thought the all the little dots straight down from the path over there, I thought they were going to be on the other side. But now this like loops. Okay, yeah, Thunder's definitely better. I mean, for Arthur, definitely, but they're a machine. But it, I think it was like killing the Titans just as fast too with the Thunder. Looking at them though, I wouldn't ex- Oh shoot, okay. <laughs> I was so confused. Looking at them though, I don't wouldn't think that like Thunder would be something they're weak to. Like I would expect it to be, I don't know, like I said, I guess wind, wind or holy or something. you for a moment. Grab the thing. An eagle feather. Sure that'll be handy for something. One of the head pieces maybe. Cause like aren't the heads kind of based around eagles? There's the one that literally looks like an eagle and then I think we even have like an actual eagle head as one of our parts. There's our map. It's a little late for it at this point. We're at the very end, but sure, why not? What else do we got? We got an Arthur, a Titan, one of these dudes that I freaking hate. Repair, please. And it's about to level up again. Hell freaking yeah, man. It's after Arthur. It'll be what? Level four? I'm just, I'm excited to try the other weapons. So I want to synth sphere this thing already. Take you off. Give you another fire. Upgrade, yes. I mean, we could instantly upgrade it and just like do it now but no that seems that seems like a bit much it's, it's unnecessary dead swap back to you grab all the stuff get the hell out of here spine of shell I'm sure I've said this in other dungeons too, but like with the speed that we're getting things to build with, it feels like we should be at the end or at least very, very close to it. That sounds like a person. That might've been the person we were missing. So I think we only had what, like two more buildings to unlock? I mean, it might've been three. I don't know. There's probably 18-ish floors on this dungeon. That seems pretty standard, right around there at least. Again, I can never remember how many there actually are, but... Right around 18 seems right. Is that...? Oh, there was. Something on the floor. Just gold. Still, though, we don't want to leave it behind. Monsters died for that gold. It would be rude to leave it. <laughs> Gunpowder. How much repair powder do we have left? 11. More Gucci. Down to the next floor, man.
Oh, oh. Is this the freaking Coliseum? Excuse me, excuse me. I can't let you in without a ticket. We have a ticket, actually. I really, like, kind of want to save first, but I don't think we can save here. Ticket received. You can enter the Coliseum. I'll open the gate. Isn't this, like, one of the monsters from <laughs> the other dungeons? Like, the Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday people? It looks a lot like them, at least. Do we have to play as him? So we have to play as him. That could end up being bad. Can we... Can we leave for free? No sign of monsters. Yes, we can freely leave. Okay. We're gonna leave just so we can save. Because depending... If it, like, forces us to be the main character, the Coliseum could end up being pretty rough, actually. So I just want to come out here, save. And then we'll just go right back in. Oh, I started hitting square trying to speed up. Can't do that here. Imagine there is only 15 floors. That would actually be pretty sick. So that'd still give us a little bit of time to try and finish the... Um, this area and then, like, start the next one today. Bro, it's gonna make us play as ourselves, isn't it? I really freaking hope not. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't know if I can take down that thing. Holy smoke, another victory. Minotaur Joe is on a devastating streak of 38 straight victories. Is there a man or beast alive that will dare to challenge the awesome fury of this terrible force of nature? Ah, no sooner spoken than they arrive. New challengers. A motley group, but they have a fierce fire in their eyes. Competitors, let the onslaught begin. Are you foolish, uh, courageous gentlemen, ready to face the battle for, of your lives? Prize for this fight is the Sun Sphere. Why would, like... I don't know, it seems like such a... No. <laughs> I can't think of the word. It seems like a really good freaking prize. Apparently it has, like, infinite energy or whatever. Yeah, it's a rare artifact, you know? It sounds basically priceless, and they're giving it away in the Colosseum? It just, it seems, it seems weird to me. I don't know. It's ours if you can win this battle. Looks like he's the only warrior left. So all you have to do is beat him, and we're good to go. But do I have to beat him? Or do we have to beat him? Because if it's we, we might be all right. If it's not, mm, I'm scared. Now for the 39th match. Young men risking their lives for glory. Can their will triumph over this unyielding force? Oh, God. I should have brought bombs. <laughs> Chugabo, what's up, man? You go first. Wait, is it gonna be... If it gets too tough, switch to me. Is it gonna be, like... Quick time event? Type boss? Or, like, actual fight type boss? Actual type fight boss. Okay, we can switch to other people. Thank freaking goodness. Wait, what are the wine kegs for? Getting ready for work? Gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> that does suck, though. I can't tell. Oh. 
I still don't know, what do the wine kegs do? Do they do anything? And what determines if he can be hit or not? It, he's only taking one damage there. Wait, is he drinking the wine kegs? Oh, that's like a stamina drink to him, huh? Which, speaking of, stamina drink is a thing, and we just got one of those? Uh, so we should probably actually use our own, too. Where is it? Did we not? I'm... Oh, these are stamina drinks. We have a bunch. <laughs> I didn't realize how many we actually had. There we go. I mean, they're still not doing... Oh, God. A ton of damage each, but like... Like, each shot, but because of how... Ah, oh, bro, that hurt. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, he is all, like, stamina would up and whatnot, but holy hell. Hopefully, it's just a stamina drink for him, and it's not actually, like, health or anything. But no! Okay, we have Revival Powder. It's fine. You stand in powder. We'll switch to Zhao, I guess. Zhao's decent. Just run away for a moment, Zhao. Okay. Item. Revival powder. It's our last one, though. And then feed him some cheese, I guess, to get his health back up. And then we need repair powder on Zhao. That's not the right weapon though, actually, is it? No, we need to switch to Steve. Equip. Can we lock onto him at least, please? No effect, why no effect? Okay, must be the attribute. Holy, he's immune to maybe? Which really sucks because that's what she has the most of. Um, I guess fire would be the next one. But we've tried fire with the other dude and it didn't seem to... Oh wait, no, he's still immune. So wait, is he immune to everybody but me and, and bro? And Osmond? And we can switch back to Osman, that's fine. I forgot about Dran's Feather, we can run with this. Oh, sadly we can't run whenever we're like locked on to somebody. I have no idea how much health this guy has. I hope he's almost dead. We should try another attribute at least. Fire is by far our highest, but like, I don't know, would Holy do anything better? It's still only doing about one each. So at the very least, I'd say he's not weak to either one. But he's gotta be weak to something, right? Wind? Minotaur be weak to wind? Doesn't appear to be. Thunder. Ooh. No. I think we just got lucky for a minute. Maybe, though. It does seem to be doing a little bit more. I'm seeing more twos pop up than I did a second ago. Last one's what? Ice? See, ice doesn't really seem to be doing anything, like, extra to him. All right, thunder it is. I feel like we've been using thunder a lot lately, but... If it's what works, it's what works. Oh, wait, did we lose our stamina drink in the process from, like, dying? Yes. Let's use another one of those. It'd be nice if Stamina Drink gave us, like, extra defense or something, too. Okay. Hey, 
repair. Still have seven more repair powders. We're doing all right. No, 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 no. Okay. Getting stuck on barrels is really freaking bad, man. I wish we had like a slightly larger field of view. Come on, please tell me you're almost dead. I don't know what this is that you're doing right now, but you're not attacking me, so I'll take it. Wait, did our stamina run up already? So, maybe stamina only lasts for like a certain number of attacks. And since we're attacking so quickly, we're losing the stamina really quickly? I don't know if that actually makes sense or not, but it makes sense to me. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you like dancing? Hey, thank you for the five bits. Bro, please tell me you're about that. drink some water. That's fine. I'm just, I'm more worried about weapon durability right now and not getting hit. Here. Since we're in the menu, item. Drink some water. Don't think we have anything that's gonna help us here. I think we just gotta, like, not die. Not die and pray. Should we be like, should we be destroying these barrels? No, that was our last repair powder, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Or not repair powder, our last uh, survival powder. So if Zhao doesn't do any damage, then I think we're pretty much screwed. I mean, we can try to use the other people, of course, but Let's be honest, the other people kind of suck. Yeah, that was. Hmm. Is it like... Yeah, she doesn't do any freaking damage. We're out of stand-in powder. All right, well. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that sucks. Uh, restart. I did save. Thank goodness that I that I thought to save before that, because oof, that was. I mean, I think we were doing okay with what we were doing. Maybe we should take some bombs or something. Like maybe that would help, potentially. I don't know though. We could look him up too, I guess real quick see like what people say to do against him to him how much health he has whatever let's do that dark cloud minotaur joe minotaur joe um It just says, when Joe picks up a barrel and starts chugging from it, attack him so he won't be able to finish the drink. Afterwards, Joe will start moving again. Wait for another barrel to go. Okay. But how much health does he have? Because... Like, we were doing damage to him. Sure, it was only, like, between one and three damage per shot. Doesn't have, like, his health or anything.
Okay, I mean, people are saying he's like the easiest boss in the game, and I'm just an idiot, so like, I don't... Uh, guide said use GoPro with Dran's Feather, should be doing plus 100 damage. Use GoPro. I, let me, let me get that GoPro up and going real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I saw too. The one I saw didn't specifically say to use Goro, but they did say once he starts chugging, just rush in with a uh, Drance Feather, smack him once or twice, and then just repeat that over and over again, basically. Um, oh, wait, we need to do it this way. The only problem is, like, Goro has no... Well, no, I think we might have ended up getting a decent weapon for him. But either way, it seems like melee is just the way to go on this one. And we just gotta be careful to dodge him when he's running around. Wait for him to chug and then beat the crap out of him, basically. So, hopefully it won't be too bad. I wish I could have seen how much health he actually had, though. Because I'm still, like, a bit surprised that we didn't kill him with how many shots we got in on him. Because from what I read, the drinks don't actually heal him at all. It's just a stamina drink, so... I mean, I don't know how many shots we got in on him, but it had to be at least in the hundreds. No cutscene skip? No cutscene skip. Okay. Mash through, then! Oh, hello there. Drink. Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate. Ah, fuck. My mic. I think we'll try main dude tone first to see how he does. And then switch to Goro and stamina drinks if need be. Okay, so it says just dodge, find a barrel. Where's a barrel? I need to find a barrel. Here we go. Here's a barrel. Oh, wait, he's running to a barrel. I did two damage. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Do I have... Okay, I have a crap weapon equipped. Where <laughs> Oh my god. Attack 30, attack 50, the sun sword. Okay. It's like, hopefully this makes some kind of difference. Um, attribute, thunder, seems fine. Okay. It's annoying that we can't use a... F okay, that's, that's, that's decent. We did 74. And apparently, he's supposed to just come up to us, drink the barrel instead of attacking us. Maybe. Come on, dude. Grab the barrel. Okay, we can only get one attack off on him. That's fine. Come on, grab the barrel. Doom. I guess we could try and do a power attack. I don't... No, 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 no. Come on, you bastard. Did we get him in time? Okay, we got him in time. His freaking, like, giant axe was in the way and I couldn't smack him. That was... <laughs> Oof. We're fine, though. We're fine. Everything's great. Okay. Stop screaming, dude. Just grab your thing. I'm like stuck in his axe. Okay. These hitboxes can be a bit odd. Can I like ooh? Okay, grab the thingy. What are you oh you're like going for that one? <laughs> Just stab him in the butt. That's the technique, man. That's what we need to do. I mean I could use a stamina drink, I guess, to make it go a little bit quicker. But honestly, if it's gonna be like this the whole time, I don't really feel the need to. Oh, you're drinking another one already? No! Wait, that hit me? I didn't even realize he attacked, to be honest. I thought he was just like charging up. That's fine, stand in powder, I guess. And then 
People recommended Goro, so let's try Goro. He got his stamina drink in, which is annoying, but... Magic Hammer? Magic Hammer. Um... I don't know, whatever. Leaf Fire on. I guess it doesn't really matter. Are you gonna go for a barrel? We really need to, like, either run behind him or make sure to get on his left side. Make sure to get on his left side. Okay, we're doing significantly less damage annoyingly with Goro. So I am actually going to take that stamina drink now. We do have repair powder, or revival powder still, since we reloaded. We could go back to, to Bro. There we go, 140. That stamina drink actually makes a pretty big difference. Get off him, please. It sucks you can't use Dran's feather at the same time that you're locked on to somebody. That's actually pretty annoying. Oh, we only did six... The freaking stamina drink wore out, that's why. I mean, maybe a charge attack would be better, but I'm just scared of, like, doing a charge attack and not actually having enough time for the charge attack. Shoot, you got another one over there? I'm stuck. Help. Run in, run in. Hit him in the butt. Bruh, how many of these kegs are you gonna get? Okay, we need uh, repair powder. Whew. Repair powder and adjust ourselves. Get into position here. Uh. Uh. Okay. Oh, we got this. My heart's beating. <laughs> Run away, run away. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> I'm gonna actually fucking reverse. fight you. Reverse. Are you serious? <laughs> I lost my bottle cap too. Alright, fine. <laughs> oh my god. Controller's upside down. All right, so this is my movement. All I need to know really, square to run, X to attack. Square to run, X to attack. We, we gonna actually fight, bro. Oh my God, the camera though. Please grab a barrel instead of coming for me. You're coming for me. You're coming for me! <laughs> okay, we're not dead. I need to like lock on. Don't lock onto the wine keg, lock onto him. All right, come here. Come here, bro. Grab the wine keg. Grab the wine keg. Wait, you're going for that one? Oh my God, can I get to you in time? I can't use Strand's feather. Okay, run away, run away, run away. All right. If we stay locked on to him, I think we'll be okay. The only thing I'm worried about is getting to him in time to be able to attack because of the like losing Dran's feather, basically. Oh boy, this sucks. I can't, I can't believe you've done this. Wrong way, wrong way. Oh god, no. No, 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 no! I hit him! Mm, okay, we have one more stand-in powder. 
I mean, it doesn't matter who we switch to. I just need to use a revival powder instantly on um I guess I guess it doesn't really matter we were doing I think I think the main character here I think was doing a little bit more damage than Goro was eat some cheese I guess take a stamina drink because anything will freaking help right now then we need to close the menu and freaking run away and then switch characters without dying. I need menu, please? Okay. Um, you. And then circle. No! We're alive. We're alive. No, wrong, wrong fucking... <laughs> We don't have any more stand-in powder. That's it. That's GG. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you freaking, you suck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, where's my? I need to restart the game again. <laughs> Imagine we were only like two hits away too. I don't know how many we actually were or anything because I have no idea how much health this guy has. But in my head, my head cannon is that we were like two hits away and y'all ruined that. <laughs> Just completely destroyed. God. Um, as I go through and clear all these votes and stuff on here, or not votes, but all the random redeems, and things it reminds me we're probably going to be picking the next game that we play through um at the end of this stream today so if there's any if anybody wants to like get some votes in before then now's a good time to do it I gotta like look at the controller so i know what freaking buttons to hit to get through this menu <laughs> technically the five minutes for reverse reverse is up I'll do it for, like, another minute or two since, like, we were in menu for part of that. Even though it's not really going to matter because by the time we get back to the guy, I'm done <laughs> with reverse reverse. <laughs> he already caused me to die once. That's enough. Don't need it again. <laughs> Bro, I just wanted to kill this dude and get to the next area. That's all I wanted in life, but no. Ruined. That was fun, though. I was really hoping I could get through it. I thought, I thought it wouldn't be that bad, but it was trying to control the camera. I needed to get locked back onto him, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get locked on fast enough. Because controlling the camera with it were reversed, and trying to, uh... There we go, the moon see. And trying to, like, dodge his attacks and whatnot. Oof. Oof. So I guess whenever he drinks a wine keg, we just instantly take damage if we're close to him. Because I don't think he hit us again whenever Goro died that time. That's what really screwed us up, because we were locked on and, like, doing all right. We just didn't get to him fast enough to hit him. So then he got the stamina drink, and then he, like, blew up and, you know, just dealt massive damage to us. So I guess... I guess if we screw up by not hitting him fast enough and it seems like he's gonna be able to chug the the wine then we need to just back the hell up and leave him the hell alone basically at that point we got knowledge of nothing else we learned something even though we've now died twice to what is supposedly the easiest boss in the game according to some random guy on game faqs which everybody knows random guys on game epic use are like knowledge gods, right? What they say is fact. Controller's back to normal now, by the way. It's been seven minutes. <laughs> you got two extra minutes. Because of menuing. <laughs> and restart time. <laughs> Bro, 
Bro, this camera is actual garbage. Don't you want to go for a wine barrel, Minotaur Joe? Oh. Bro! Oh, we got him. We actually got him. Why could we not hit him, though? I mean, I remembered, like, halfway through that that we needed to change our weapon. But why? It's just like, we were on him, man. Why the hell were we not hitting him? That was, I was honestly scared there. I thought we were going to instantly die again. Well, I'm behind two barrels. Surely you want to get one of these barrels, right? Instead of me. We got three barrels between us. Grab yourself a barrel. There you go. Nope. Stay, stay locked on to him. It's much easier when we're locked on. And screw it. I don't want to keep doing this again. Stamina drink. Come on, come attack. Come do anything. Instead of just standing there screaming. Bro. Bro. Bro! The game is broken! Why can I not hit? <laughs> we were on him. We were literally on him, swinging our freaking sword. Why? Could... I hate this game. I hate this stupid game. This game, fucking garbage. It's just garbage. I swear to God. Hold on. Hold on. Weapon. Switch to something decent first. Oh my God. Wait. You're not maxed out. Customize. Sure. Speed. Whatever. And then... Go to you real quick. Take this off. Back to Goro. I mean, if nothing else, at least Goro gets a chance to shine. And then I guess drink a stamina drink. As long as Bro's not invincible again for some reason. Wait, why'd we only do 86 with stamina drink? Oh, because he was stamina up. That's why. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I can't... <laughs> 172. That's much better. That's much better. Too bad that our stamina drink wore off already. Are you running for another drink or are you running to hide? You're running to hide, okay. Okay, there's multiple barrels between us. I mean, we're still doing 79. That's not bad. Even without a stamina drink. Come here, Minotaur Joe. Get yourself a barrel, boy. Ah. Is he going for another barrel? He is. He's going for another one already. Let's go. One, two. We got two. He's got to be coming for one of these, right? Hell yeah. Repair powder. I got a tasty keg of wine for you, Joe. Come and take a drink, buddy. You looking thirsty. All that yelling's got to be wearing you out, right? Fine, just keep backing up. Is he going for a barrel? No, he's gonna start his screaming again. He's gotta cosplay Goku real quick. Roleplay? Roleplay Goku? <laughs> Roleplay as Goku? 
I don't know. Words don't make sense. He's he's got to scream, channel his energy or something. Go super super Joe. I think he's going for another barrel. Yep. Let me out. Let me out. Lock on. That's not locked on. Okay, whatever. Game. Let me let me out, please. Help. Are you going for me or a barrel? You're going for a barrel. Get him in the butt? Nope. Get him in the toe, I guess. Come on, how much health do you have? You gotta be about dead, right? He's going for a barrel. I thought it was going to screw us again on hitting him, man. I would have been so pissed. Grab a drink. You know you want it. Is tasty is wine. You like wine? <laughs> I think. I mean, you, you drink enough of it. You got to like it, right? So just grab it. Have a nice drink. It's refreshing. You'll feel better. Get wrecked. You're not dead. Are you going for a barrel, though? Yes. Now are you dead? You're still not freaking dead? Just die already. You're going for another one. Okay, we need repair powder. How much health does this dude have? Seriously. Holy hell, man. It never ends. I mean, I know online people said they were doing 100 plus, and we're not doing 100 plus. Unless we keep chugging our own stamina drinks. It's too bad, like, if we break the wine barrel, it'd be nice if we could get the stamina from it or something, you know? Like, free stamina drinks for us. That would be handy. Because you really do do a lot more freaking damage whenever you're stamina up. And take less damage. Getting thirsty. I mean, there's wine all over the place. Can I just take a drink of that? Bro, he's gone. He picked up another one. <laughs> Is he trying to run away? What's he doing now? Okay. Hold on. Drink of water. Seeing this now, I don't think we were actually all that close last time. I thought we would have been, but no. This dude apparently just has infinite health. That looks like he's going for a barrel. That's it! Let's go! Get freaking wrecked, dude! Easiest boss in the game! Finally killed him! <laughs> huh. Thank God. Oops. Finally, the earth-shattering fury of the indomitable Min Min Minotaur Joe is quenched. He has fallen. His was the record-breaking streak of 38 straight undisputed victories. The new champion of the Coliseum is... Goro. Because I didn't do shit. Apparently, I don't know how to hit people with my sword whenever they're standing right in front of me completely defenseless. So, it wasn't me. I'll tell you that much. It was Hammer, bro. He did all the freaking work. My least favorite character. <laughs> uh, good job, GoPro. Thank you, GoPro. Is there a brave soul that would dare to challenge the young hero? They better fucking not. I just want to leave. <laughs> that was easy, huh? I'm going to fight you, you little dude. Let's see the Sun Sphere. Acquired. So is that the end or is there another floor? Let's go back to the yellow drop now. I'm hoping that's the end of it. Now we can complete the Sun Giant. Why don't you assemble it on your own? I mean, there's still the question of... Do we actually need to assemble it, or... Because, like, this layout <laughs> that I got going on... <laughs> is not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. But do we have everything, though? 
Sure, you can go here. Uh, yep, this can go here. That actually kind of looks like it might go there. You can go here. Now we just throw all the stuff in. Earn. Eagle head. Eagle feather. Full of enthusiasm. This one? That one. Uh, earn. Cool. Sun sphere. Goggles on forehead, that's you. This dude. And earn. Oh, bro, that is. That's actually it. So unless there's, like, another boss fight, that's it for this area. That should take us to the end of the game. Hell freaking yeah. Alright. Um, walk. We still have one more area we got to play through, so it's not actually over yet, to be clear. But <laughs> we should be next week at the, the last area of the game, which, from what I've heard, isn't super long. Um, so I'm, I'm still hoping that next week will actually be the end, which is why we're rolling this week to see what we're playing uh, next. Oh, we just had somebody leave the team. How rude. Haven't you got any adventurous spirit left in you? Don't you want to be a hero? Maybe. What's it to you? Maybe I don't want to be a hero. Why does everybody got to be a hero, man? Why can't some people just be like chill? Oh, give me my chest. Holy water. I just run around in circles until stuff happens, I guess. I don't know how to actually, like, trigger the end of it. Why was the sun giant broken apart in the first place? It looked perfect. Don't you see? The sun giant was, of course, without any defects. He was literally freaking perfect. But <laughs> we overlooked one thing. power source. It was impossible to even think about moving it with an ordinary magical gem. The only power that could power the sun giant is the freaking sun! Of course. Okay, antidote. Wind. This is very jolly music. Is that chest over there? This looks like a chest. I didn't expect... Oh, wait, no, we did know that chest could appear outside, too. We found a couple. Pant, pant, pant. Me too, man. Is he a thief? He looks like a thief. They didn't spot us. Phew, good. By... by who? Okay, yeah, he was a thief, wasn't he? Boone, you can't be. Thinking run away, getting nervous. Are you? Oh, not a thief. He's just running away. Go ahead and run away if you want to. I mean, a weakling like you can't possibly move this on giant anyway. <laughs> See ya. That's kind of rude. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing he knows what he's doing, and that's just, like, the best way to make this dude stay. But, like, that's still kind of rude. Like, you're too much of a weak little baby to power this thing anyways. To control this giant. <laughs> Get freaking wrecked. Ice. Ice, baby. Bum -ba -da -dum -bum -bum -bum. Sky Hunter. Okay. Is that everything? We might actually have to, like, assemble it now. Uh, hold on. It's finished. Any request? 
So wait, maybe I do actually need to lay it out properly. Any requests? Good job. <laughs> okay. That's very helpful. Thank you. What do you have to say? I'm Gotch. Who are you? I'm me. Can you really return things the way they were? That's my plan, at least. Uh, Let's get this done fast. Wait, do we just go back to... Do we just go back to the sun sea thing now, then? I see a chest on top of that tower. I just really don't want to climb it again, to be honest. Sure, I guess just plop us down here. Do we just go to the moon sea, or do we actually have to, like, lay it out, lay it out? Pretty sure I have an escape powder, if need be. Yeah, no, that's the end of it. Shoot. Okay, well... Well, unless we have to, like, come back to the Colosseum for some reason. Because I guess we didn't actually go down again. No, okay, we can't do anything else here. Leave dungeon! Yes. How to finish the moon sea. Dark cloud. Not moon seal. Moon sea. Mm -mm -mm. There's a guide. I don't really want to look through it, though. Um... The pieces must be put together in a certain hierarchy. Okay. So, yes. Alright. We actually have to, like, do things. Put the guy together right. Teleport to the factory. We got this. It shouldn't be that bad, I don't think. Right? Like, it shouldn't make sense. And I literally have a thing here that says, hey, put it together in this order. So, like, <laughs> hopefully that'll help, too. Um... Diorama menu? Move and remove. There we go. Okay. I think that's everything. Head. Okay. I mean, I... Okay. Again, I'm assuming it makes sense. So head, I'm assuming, will go all the way up here at the top. That makes the most sense to me. And then after head would be this one. And then waist, I guess. That makes sense. And then do we just go straight to feet? Um. I'm guessing those are arms, right? Oh, wait. But it looks like... I'm trying not or to do it without the thing. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so this would be a shoulder. Wait. Okay, I guess that's his right. So that makes sense. It's his right, not our right. I mean, it looks like it's linking up when we put the stuff in there, so that's good. And then his left arm. Or does it get, like, a space? Because there's the little thing there, too, right? These things? Do they go in there first? Left? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be, like... What does T-I mean? Sorry, I'm looking at the thing. I was trying not to, but... Okay, no, these are thighs. So his left thigh. Okay. I 
can't tell. Is that linking up? It doesn't look like it. It's fine. Thigh. Right thigh. Oh, maybe it's the HDL and whatnot. So this probably goes here. That link? Looks like it did. What am I missing? That, and then it's just the feet. Right foot. Left foot. And then do we need the lookout tower? Uh, whatever, why not? Is that right? Right shoulder. And then HDR2. Yeah, okay. And then AMR, right arm, or right hand. Okay. So now, in theory, if we hop down here... Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Mech time. Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. Ah. Guys! Line up! Roger. Get your asses over here. Slowly. Very slowly, apparently. Now this is the mission. Listen up carefully. Right now at Blue Terra, they're in trouble. And there's a genie, he's fucking shit up. This is where we come in. We're gonna go there, we're gonna fucking murder him, or seal him, or both. I'm assuming murder. <laughs> murder seems like the better plan to me. If we seal him, he can be released again, you know? But if we murder, then like, we don't have to worry about it, he's gone. So, murder? Murder. Hush, watch. I don't need to move. <laughs> Who needs to move? We got games. Flag Gilligister. Officer of the East. The Lagoon Empire Army. Yeah, he's the one that released the genie, so let's murder him too. Why not? Oh, is that why they called it Dark Cloud? Because there's a dark cloud surrounding the, like, evil castle? Lele attack just is that, like, where that came edge. from? <laughs> it makes sense to me, at least, right? Oh, my God. Feels good to stretch, I'm not gonna lie. Even though, like, I'm completely invisible right now. Like, the video is weird, man, on how it, like, does it look for skin? Is that how it determines, like. Because, like, as soon as I move my hands, but, like, if I move closer, nothing. But if my hand goes there, it's instantly, like, it's instantly, you know, this is a person and it needs to be in frame. That's so weird. I never really put that together before. Anyways, okay, sorry. We were, we were stretching. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Oh, my headphones, like, damn near fell off. My original sun giant, that dark cloud, could easily be penetrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun giant became perfect when the piece was inserted. Is that what he said? But it broke in the test. It's gonna be fine. I'm assuming, like, the Sun Giant's gonna get us in, and then we're screwed after that. Like, we gotta do the killing on our own. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Because, like, if it did the killing for us, too, then that's... No, you know? It's not gonna happen. That'd be too easy. It's gotta, gotta have suspense. It's gotta be difficult or whatever. So I don't think so. I, I think... I think it's gonna make us do stuff. Yeah, we got another gourd. Speaking of gourds and things, do we have any stuff that we want to use or get rid of? Uh, who doesn't have a gourd? Goro doesn't have a gourd. And candy. Nope, that's a whirlwind gem. Never mind. Not candy. Might as well go ahead and sell you some stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a shop at the end of the game. So I don't think we need to worry too much about like buying anything 
but we might as well sell whatever crap we don't want. And I lied, I will buy a couple of Duran's feathers, because they're handy and I like them. Um, okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's save, just in case anything... in case anything goes wrong but I think we can just talk to you and then go to the last level of the game dude we probably should have searched the town for more like items that'll help us power up or whatever but like bro we fine we already perfect we don't need no no gourds no fruit of Edens no health like with like more defense to be honest but it's fine Oh wait, we're a pallet too? Seat has been customized to fit you. Don't worry, it's easy to operate. Place your hands on the control spheres and picture the giant's movements. Oh god, the giant's mind control? That never ends well, man. Cause like, <laughs> cause like you're just walking around with this dude or whatever and then you're like, haha, wouldn't it be funny if this thing just like tripped and then broke into a million pieces like in a comedic way and then he's gonna freaking do it and everything's screwed like the entire mission's done for at that point that's why you can't have things be mind controlled man <laughs> like you need actual controls normal controls is, is the only way anything else is just gonna screw you over in the end that's just fact just gotta accept that hiya heya hiya Is he worshipping this dude? <laughs> like, just, just like, ah. He's stupid. So, like, I do wonder why the eagle iconography. Do they have eagles on the moon? That they base this off of, or. Did, like, they watch Earth and just fall in love with eagles there? Why eagles? Why not moon rabbits or something? Moon rabbits? Are the oh, it's literally them. They're moon rabbits. That's where that came from. I'm <laughs> moon bugs, then. Why isn't it like a giant moon bug creature thing? Spaceship. Mech. That's what they're called. Giant moon bug mech. Okay, so from what I know, there is Atla here. There is, like, building and whatnot. It's just smaller than the rest of it. My castle, it certainly has changed. Wait, who's this? Where did you come from? Seta, what do you plan to do? Oh. Simba, what are you doing here? That's my line. It's you who's unexpected here. You haven't changed. Well, maybe you're a little older. Of course, it's been 400 years, so you've been living in this age using the forbidden spell? Yeah, I've thought about it and came up with an idea for defeating him. An idea for defeating him? At first, my plan was to acquire Atlamilla, but in this age, I realized I didn't have the power to seal the genie. Then, I met him. Wait, have we met this guy? Yeah, one look and I knew. Stream has something I no longer have. I thought I could defeat the dark genie with it, so I have led him on by leaving treasures in his path. Oh... You're the one that keeps leaving random things all over the place. Helping others? No, that's not it. I just want to settle this cursed fate on my own. In a few days, he will completely take over my mind. I have things to do before that happens. Soon, Stream will arrive at this castle. Before he does, open the door to the past, the day and moment. Oh god, cutscene time. <laughs> Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to be, like, a cutscene of what happened or whatever, not this. This cloud is pretty darn thick. Wonder how deep it goes. Uh, very. <laughs> I see a way through. Then go through it, dude. <laughs> like, take it. It's very convenient that there's just, like, a perfectly cylindrical hole for us to fly straight through, you know? The 
but literally like there was nothing it was just any spaceship could have flown through that it was just a hole there was nothing there these dudes defenses suck <laughs> oh we got this big scary dark cloud covering us nobody would be able to get in here unless you go through the freaking pathway that we have pre-built ready for anybody to come through of course then we're screwed I mean, I guess they probably feel like they're all powerful and they don't really need to freaking worry about it anyways or whatever, but, like, bro, stupid. It's gonna be your downfall. You're quite something coming all this way. Now then, monster, let's play. Oh. Wait. Did the genie, like, give him power? Or did they, like, become one? Them and the genie? Are they just one... One bro? One dude? Wow, this has got the full on final battle vibe. So this could be it for us, huh? Jeez, man, don't go and jinx us now. <laughs> Bro's literally hiding. Look right in front of us. Well, well, look at that. Here goes. Commence attack. It's your turn. Don't blow it. This isn't actually the final battle, though, right? I was led to believe this would not be the final battle. If it is, I mean, so be it, I guess. I just... I didn't plan on, like, going past this point. I'm guessing we're just gonna, like, knock him back. The thing's gonna get destroyed, and then we gotta go through the castle to actually beat him. So I think this is, like, a, a fake final battle, you know? Gotta get some sort of twist in there or something. Okay, it's not QTE-based. Do we actually get a play as this thing? Wow, it's huge. That's what she said. Wink. Watch yourself. Get kicked. Wow, look out, it's not kidding around. This is <laughs> this is so <laughs> what is this, bro? Lag, can I just kill it now? Go for it. Kaboom. Bro, that was the world's slowest laser beam. You could have just moved out of the way. I hope you know that. You did not have to tank that hit at all. Got me angry, monster. Only got yourself to blame. Wait, you're calling us the monster? Bro, that's literally you. You the monster. We Gucci, though. We're Gokuing it up in this bitch, man. Not even a scratch. That's not going to work on this giant. Now it's our turn. You ready? Sun cannon! Is it like just a hole in our chest going to pop open and like... Okay, not quite, but yeah, basically. Imagine this is actually the end. <laughs> it would be so anticlimactic, man. <laughs> like... <laughs> if that was the end, then that would be like the worst freaking ending boss fight cutscene, whatever you want to call it, ever. But <laughs> so, there's no way he's dead, man. One, I was led to believe otherwise, and two, that was, no. Boss, look, okay, here we go. Is it the dude, the general? Maybe he sticks behind and we still got to kill him. Maybe? Okay, yeah. There's the general. Ha ha ha. Well, in the end, a mouse is just a mouse. I suppose the ruse is up. What you'd call the genie, that was this little one here. A lucky little rodent that found its way into the urn while I was still imprisoned. Its mere proximity to me allowed it to absorb tremendous magical power, but obviously it was poor material for the power. Your easy victory over it is proof of its limitations. The boy riding that overgrown tin can must be the keeper of the Atlamilla. Do you remember me, boy? No, but then when we met last, I didn't look like this. I congratulate you for coming this far. Well done. I really have no tangible physical form. I used this fool's body. The fool broke the urn's spell, blinded by greed. Then the mouse was to be my instrument, through this fool, to bring about the world's end. But enough with the sharing of secrets. Do you understand now? This long game was fun, but now I will end it. Listen well, Alamilla boy. I will rule this land and create an ideal world, an immaculate Eden where darkness rules. Now you will truly understand power, my power, the real dark genie's power. Your education begins. So wait, is that dude that was just talking to the sage, was he the genie? 
I'm... I don't understand what's going on. I have no idea. I mean, I understand that, like, the Dark Genie took over his body or whatever. And that the mouse was just a fake, a decoy that he had set up because it happened to be there. So, like, why not, I guess, or whatever. I understand that part, but why did it show a flash of that other dude? Body of this man cannot handle the power. Typical. Humans are so fragile. Well, that's that. I must seek a new host. Oh, well, <laughs> goodbye, General. You were kind of a piece of shit anyways, so... Oh, well. <laughs> uh, what kind of rescue do you call this? Did you abandon the others? Don't worry about it. They're probably all caught in that thick layer of clouds below. I'll take care of them. But we don't have time for that now. We've got to hurry to Dark Heaven Castle. Genie's weakened, but it won't last long. It's probably our only shot. It's making me think of Never Ending Story, man. <laughs> I can't remember what the thing in Never Ending Story actually looked like. But in my mind, it's that. That's the <laughs> That's the thing. We just riding it around, boy. What is this thing called? Dran? I think that's Dran, right? From the first level, world, city, town, whatever you want to call it. That monster's a fierce one. Keep your wits about you. Thank you, never-ending monster dude. Never-ending monster. <laughs> never-ending story dude. Bro, my brain is fried. I think it's... <laughs> It's a good thing it's nine o'clock. I think it's time for me to freaking go. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna save. Uh, roll the next game that we're playing through, and then we'll pick up next week, maybe on Monday. I haven't decided for sure yet whether we start doing Mondays or we continue doing Wednesdays. That part's to be determined, I guess. Let's get that saved. Let's get my list loaded up. I guess that's kind of important. Kappa, have a good night, man. Thank you for coming out and hanging out with me while I played some. I appreciate it. Uh, list, here we go. Switch to the right account. There we go. And then miscellaneous. Switch. Hey, there we go. All right, games to complete. There's a lot of them on the list. Are there any votes that we need to throw in real quick? Before we do, yes, we do have a couple. We have Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. We got to vote for that. That needs to be thrown on here real quick. 116. We got Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. 101. Uh, another one for Eco. And that looks like it for this list. There's a couple more votes, but it's not for this one, so it doesn't matter. So for anybody who hasn't seen the list before, I'm going to click the little pick a number button. A random number is going to pop up, and that's going to cause one of these games to highlight. But the first one's always just an example. So don't get your hopes up too much with whichever one gets highlighted first. Um, in this case, 1,609. That would have been Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. Kind of sad that one doesn't count because I really want to do the Pokemon Nuzlocke uh, soon, preferably. But again... It was just an example. It doesn't count. So we're going to turn it off, wait for it to clear, turn it back on. Whichever one highlights next is the next game we'll be playing through after we finish Dark Cloud officially. Hopefully, like, the second half of next week. So drum roll if I had one. And 1,662, which is still Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> That's the chances of that, though. I guess, I mean, it's 152 out of 2,177 chance. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. That is uh, 152, 2177. That was a 7% chance for that to be rolled, and we rolled it twice in a row. Just to prove, though, like, there's the, there's the randomizer thing. I have no way of controlling it. Like, that was purely coincidence, but I'm, I'm fine with that. And there you go. See, like, that time it rolled Final Fantasy Tactics, the regular one. Not even Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, and that one only has 14 votes. But anyways, there we go, guys. That's it. Uh, we're going to play Dark Cloud again next week until we, I mean, and keep playing it until we finish it. Uh, and then we're going to be doing the Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. So, fuck yeah. Until next week, guys, thank you for coming and hanging out. I appreciate you all. 
and uh, be kind to each other. Bye! Well, hold on. Not until next week. Tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. This ain't happening again until next week, though. <laughs> ha! Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs>